Serge. Nelly. Alex. <laughs> you know, in the PPR, when you run that intro, it does the it does the pan of the of the people. Really well done. Thank Serge. you. Yeah. Think carefully. When was the last time you saw me <laughs> on any PPR ever, ever, ever? Uh, in the last two years, four. You've been six. at all of them, James, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, I gave you that penalty for outside interference, and <laughs> just like like James like throws himself at, like awake, just bathed in sweat. <laughs> it's like, oh, Ashley, I had this terrible dream. That's <laughs> me. <laughs> it's like, go back to bed, honey. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I don't know why, but the next step of that joke is like Adam is in Jade's dog bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was imagine he goes to get the, he goes to get the dog, but it's Adam's Alex. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> or it's Adam. Yeah, sure. All right. Wow. Hey, so we have some cards to sort. Grabs the Hi. cereal. It's just Grammios. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to a little bonus LRMTG where everything is totally normal. A reminder that all of this. It's brought to you by you with your support over the Patreon at patreon.com slash loading ready run. And we'd like to thank our magic sponsors, Card Kingdom, cardkingdom.com slash LRR. That's an affiliate code that lets them know that we sent you. And good news, there's a new button. If you ask for a little one inch button, it says the power level of my deck is yes. Welcome to Chit Chaff The Purge. Tonight, <laughs> tonight we tackle what percentage of your collection you think we're tackling tonight? Because there are long boxes off camera everywhere. <laughs> it's definitely more than 50%. Like, okay. Like, I brought everything that's not, I was thinking about this, I knew this question would come up, a deck, like okay. a current deck that is in use, or sealed product, or dual decks, which it's also decks, but it's like its own spot in my collection. But still together. Then, yeah, yeah, I have them. I, I just bought dual decks and never broke them apart. I have like a, one of them, one or two of them might be missing a card oh, or two that, that I too. need to steal. Yeah, I don't know. I just found the dual decks product was like worth. Like it cool. was fun. Okay. And then also Jumpstart is in there and some oddities. Like I have a stack of giant spiders I think that I didn't bring, you know. So we have three long boxes on the table right yeah, now. Yeah, but we've got some more, yeah. And you're saying Wait. this is 50%? No, no, like, uh, including everything I brought. That's 50% or more. More than 50%. Wait, do you, do you say you have, like, a, just a pile of giant spiders? Like, have you been collecting giant spiders? For yeah, I collect giant spiders and lava ball traps. Oh, no, I said it on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Now everybody. Okay, in. yeah. So what I'm thinking is, if these boxes are mo the boxes we are, we're going to go through first are mostly already chaff. So what we want to do is we're like sorting our we're like checking our bulk with these. Just making sure any is there yeah. anything. So like is there anything that's like clearly money. Let's pull that out and put that on the, the table. The expectation is that we want to get rid of all these cards. We expect these to be bad and anything that we think is good set yeah. aside and we'll do a, a, maybe a pass of that afterwards. Yeah, but the things that are like the the stuff that's just the chaff you can put back in the box. Like the the chaff can stay in the boxes. But let's keep the. Oh, the, put the, the, the weed the good on cards the table. Get the weed yeah. on the table. And then uh, we'll, uh, if you've yeah. never seen this before, this is a, now a, a section, a, a segment that we do occasionally where one of us brings in our collection and we do stuff with it. So in December, we went through my collection. We re-sleeved everything because I needed that. And nice. turns out I own less than 3,000 physical cards. Congrats. Total, my entire collection. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. good for you. Oh, yeah. There <laughs> hey, we go. Paul, do you want to switch the uh, the overhead? That's a good one. I think we found a card that might be worth some money here. Yeah. This is this the is this the the foil exclusive sol ring that came from going to like Vegas and some stuff like that? I that, think yeah. That I've, one's okay. I got one of them at <laughs> Command Fest. Uh, yeah, Belleville. the Command Fest one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I might yeah. have got one on a I might have got one on a Vegas trip too. That's possible. So now, if I if I recall correctly, mm -hmm. and you I, probably do, I believe <laughs> Judge for Rustic Study. I, I yeah, believe uh, the the concept behind Chit Chaff mm -hmm. was that uh, we have. We had a bunch of cards here at the office that needed sorting. Yes. That had to be done anyway. And then we're like, hey, wait a minute. Maybe we can turn this into content. Can we make content out of this? Yeah. <laughs> because. Let's squeeze every last drop of our lives. As content, content creators, yeah. anytime you're not 
actively filming things is just a waste. How much did you draft Scars of Mirrodin? I'm holding eight copies of Darksteel Axe. Yeah, you know, that card was pretty good in that format. At least eight times, I want to say. <laughs> Probably quite a bit more, uh, though. And then the thing is, when we did that uh, initial stream, uh, we thought we were like, hey, here's kind of a fun bonus thing we'll do. And I believe that stream got better viewership than the actual, like, LR MTG that it was replacing, that, that we were sort of, and we're like, oh, okay, I guess people like to see this. Alex, this did you do this one? This is like a cool, Ooh. like, black bordering. No, I... Oh, is that an altar? I, I was going to notice because yeah. I saw the black border. You can take the sleeve you know off. What? Yeah. I know that you did, you've might done be some that one. ended up in my I actually. have history with... This does actually look like my work. Yeah. Um, I actually have history with... Uh, this card, not this specific card, but like this was, I think, the first magic card that I bought and nice. got in trouble with Ooh, my dad perfect. for how much it cost. Wow. <laughs> the Ken I, Stacy coffers weren't willing to, how, to fork how, up for Vesuvian Doppelganger, huh? How much was it at the I time? I don't remember. This card was like 20 bucks in the 90s. Yeah, yeah this was like one of, one of everyone's favorite cards from Beta. Now, the amazing part, the, the black border and the and the saturation of the ink made me think it was from Legends, right? Because like that right. black border is actually impressive enough that I was like, oh man. And then I didn't see the Legends symbol. I was like, is this the dark? Like, what's ha mm. what's happening here? So it's revised, but it's been, uh, what is it, taped or something? It's some kind of material it's, that's been It's, it's been not painted. Just paint. I think it's it was painted. actually okay, like paint. masked and then spray painted. Nice. Spray paint. Beautiful. So. I'm there. assuming you don't care about any of these clue stones, right? I don't like, think I do, no. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah! <laughs> this ever turned this into something? Like, this it. is oh, not yeah. huge yeah. money, but... Oh, no, no, that, yeah, oh, yeah, that card's a keeper. Baby! Yeah. <laughs> okay, I, 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 normally, I normally don't try and, like, talk too much, but I just need to show this from the top. Oh, yeah, we've got a box of Pringles. <laughs> There's a box that's chaff Ooh, Pringles, wee. and they're completely... Wee. They're the worst Pringles I've ever seen. I this own. is... Yeah. This <laughs> Whoop -whoop. <laughs> I moved into this apartment your... in Fairfield and had to store my stuff in the basement for a while. And when I got it out, it was like, oh no. You need a card humidor or something. Yeah. Or I wait, don't know if you what, can really or, fix or if it. the opposite of that. You... Happened. Is this, hold on, is this a card that's worth anything? The Chaos Confetti? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's yeah, a good sure. one, right? Keep that, keep that aside, yeah. You can win at least one game with it. And then if you can get it back into the sleeve, you know, maybe it's a second <laughs> game. So. Uh, Nelly, I don't yeah. remember if you taught me this trick or if this was like an Ed trick, mm, but if you, if you have tricks. a big pile, yeah. you turn it upside down, and then you thumb it looking at the set symbols. Oh. Uh, you can find the rares, yeah. Yeah, although there's Absolutely. some like kind of cool uncommon stuff, although for this set, it's probably oh. not. Oh, baby! Now there's a card That's near a cool. near to my heart. What is that? That is a Japanese. It's black bordered. So was it foreign I think fourth edition? It looks like fourth though, doesn't it? From yeah, the because yeah. the white. It's normally um, a white bordered, but there's foreign black bordered fourth edition, right? Well, it's foreign. You get a black border in each of the first sets uh, printed in a language. So Interesting. Like, so like for Japanese, maybe it was fourth was the first set they got. Hmm. So then it's uh, yeah. So then it's. So, uh, I'm separating out non-foil rares and mythics, foil rares and mythics, and then like foils. Oh, you got good cards. Dude, like my boxes, I kid you not, draft commons and uncommon artifacts from well, 18 years ago. Well, I've just found the, the, the bad stuff. Or oh, just okay. like boring Yeah, stuff. no, there's plenty of bad stuff in that box I handed Alex too, I'm sure. <clears throat> Don't worry, it's getting around. <laughs> There yeah. will be, everyone will get some trash. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh. <laughs> hold on. Uh, all right. Many, many signets. This is all, oh, there's some commander ones in here too. This is all like original printings of signets and stuff like that from Nelly, presumably Ooh. drafting original Ravnica block. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I drafted I, that set quite a lot I, too. I hope you feel that I am. That I'm being enthusiastic here, not that Absolutely. I'm. Yeah, good. I still have one of these. Ooh. It's not for trade. Is uh, rock lobster something we care about? Ah, uh, sure. Maybe. Let's keep it. Speaking yeah. I don't of... think I have sets uh, unless there's a set right there. Yeah. Speaking of trades, if uh, if there's anything in here on my wish list, uh, can I'm I put it judge. aside? Mm. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Yeah. Is tumble oh, oh, this so isn't good? worth anything. I'll just put it over here. <laughs> 
I don't think Tumble Magnet is the card it was back in the I standard format. I got formats, smoked sorry. by Tumble Magnet in 2017 in a draft. Okay. This guy, he, he had Tumble... It was a Chaos draft, and he got... What was the Kaladesh enchantment that, like, copies an artifact every upkeep? Uh, mechanized production? Yeah, he yeah. got that and Tumble Magnet, <laughs> and just sort of, like, almost under his breath went, Love the dream. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like, Oh, I'm That's just awesome. dead to this. That's incredible. It was it was pretty hot. So my criteria for a lot of these cards I'm looking at is because I actually play a fair amount of commander now, which is a, a, a result of the pandemic. For yeah, sure. me too. I it, pan, like commander just ended up being the most logical format to play. The on, most over webcam, webcam favorite. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, yeah. and I just kept kind of rocking that. So I'm looking at cards Plus it turns that, out there's so many great commander players. They're just so funny. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. But look, looking at the cards that I keep now and hmm. comparing it to me from three years ago, a lot of these cards would be like, not a chance. And my main now, I'm like, yeah, you play this in commander. Let's go. Yeah, I might need this. Who knows? Some of these are a little tricky, actually. Like, is Devoted Druid yeah. and... Rancor is still a thing, Well, right? so the cards that I'm thinking here, too, a lot of these cards I wouldn't keep from the collection. A lot of these cards I think are worth selling. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. this is, like, not literal actual garbage, but, But like, you're not going to get much money no, for it, right? Yeah. And then, but this is, like, I'd say 50% of these are spell bombs. <laughs> okay. Right? They're good yeah. spell bombs. You know? Though. Yeah. Spell bombs, signets. Oh, there's a dollar rare. Yeah, maybe I'll, oh, whatever. I'll make one pile. We'll sort that later. Sweet. War horse. I don't know. They printed this into Oblivion. Rest in peace. Anything? I don't know. Chat. Yeah. Rest in peace. Still any good? Probably. It's probably still the modern. Oh, we're, we're finding. Oh, we're, we're finding the uh, the money pile now. Temple mm. bell. Bong. That's my spare temple bell. <laughs> oh. Yeah. What was the old combo? It was temple bell and what was the one whenever you draw a card on tap it or something like that? Oh, man, I forgot I had It was like this. a two-card combo for it, right? I forgot I got this sign. So, <laughs> it's so weird that I got this sign. I don't think this, yeah, it's not, this isn't an original black-bordered. I have two black-bordered, um, oh, it's mind over matter. Sorry to answer your question. Mind over yeah, matter, mind yeah. Over yeah. Matter. So, I have two... <laughs> Inked, but in good shape. Wrath of Gods. Dang. And I got the one sorry, sorry, from... Let's leave that on there a little bit longer. Yeah. So when you say ink, you mean once again, somebody the went through black. and yeah. did the border with like a marker or whatever like that. Yeah, because that's ninth edition? Uh, sixth. Oh, sorry. I was, down I was reading it upside down. Yeah. But then I also have one from like, I don't know, this is just fourth or fifth maybe? This is fifth, I think? Okay. And I have Quentin's Uber signature and he also just like... It, he put like a little dot right in the like exposed <laughs> bubble. That's like that, it's on his own painting that he drew. It's like, yep, yeah, yeah, we all saw rules. it, Quentin already. Oh man, rest in peace. Yeah. Oh. I like the idea that he's just like made it his personal mission to dot the butthole. Just in case everybody every every, every knows. Of everyone that comes along. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So this is very cool. This is from the from, from the vaults one, right? This printing yeah. tangle wire. Some kind of tangle wire from the vault, yeah. I, I don't know. The early from the vaults, I was able to get a, a copy of. No, I don't have all of them. Uh, I have most of the dual decks, though, at home. Do you remember there when you this go. used to be an all-star? Such an important card Staffing for a while it. there, yeah. It's remember when we used absolutely. to tinker for it? Ooh. That kind of slaps. Yeah. This is the kind of card that Nelly always thinks he doesn't have one of. He's like, oh, I need to get that. <laughs> You you're like, why don't you have six? Walk the yeah, yeah. You figured out that you have like four or ten or whatever. Like, oops. Uh -oh. See, I'm always shocked when I'm like, ah, oh, I bought a second copy of a card. Also, this. This is for sale. <laughs> what is that? It's a temporal, temporal. Oh, the Dell one. Yeah. I don't know if that card is still good in some eternal format, but it was for a little while. There's always an interesting moment when you go through somebody's collection and you're like, what is the surprising rabbit hole of depths that we'd find? And for you, it's time walks. You're yeah, like, oh yeah, like, yeah I, I own all never the say bad no to time, a time walks. Walk. Yeah, absolutely. I also don't know if this card uh, is money or not. It might be. I mean, oh, sorry. What is this? What am I looking at? This is baneful omen. omen, seven mana enchantment. Beginning of your end step, you reveal the top card of your library. If you do, each opponent loses life equal to its. Uh, I don't know about that one. You know what is like kind of sick card though. For a little while, yeah. More random <laughs> old cards. Yeah. That's that's not going in the garbage pile. <gasps> okay, can we talk about janky old interactions? Mm -hmm. Remember when mana mana burn was a thing, and you could paradise bloom and ping your opponent at the end of turn. 
Oh, you're thinking of a spectral search. Light, I am right? thinking of a spectral yeah. search light. Oh man, I should have read the card before I thought I knew what it was. All right, take it back. Got another really tragic. This one was painted, but then the paint came off. Or no, it's just Sharpie or something. This is like the worst condition sinkhole I've ever owned. Oh, I think. wait! Yeah, it's in pretty bad shape, but it's it fits in the sleeve. I've definitely played this in a bunch of Canadian Islander I games. like that you tried to block the border and then gave up or scratched off. I actually. think it might have been the person I got it off of. Like, I might have just bought oh, this off wow. of Ed for like... How much do you want? And he's like, just take it. I, I also like that Get it out of my store. in chat, it's yeah. like more like sunk hole. <laughs> yeah. Well, stink hole. Stink hole would still also blows work. blows up your land. Yeah. yeah. No, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. What does, it's the old, you know, it's like, what, what, what does a uh, crap version of a, you know, Black Lotus do? The exact same version, <laughs> exact same thing as every other version. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, still gets you the three man. Along the same lines, for a while, I was like trying my hardest to flatten out this Goblin Sutter. I don't know if I ever actually played it in a tournament. I got this with the rest of a collection off of actually Epic Games and more here in town back when they used to oh, carry yeah. like things other than video games. And uh, I don't know, it's like kind of close now, but like it doesn't have any integrity. Like it, if you bend it, it'll bend exactly on the fold. So, anyways, but they made that into a secret layer, so I got to fill that. Spot in my collection that I wanted. All right, I have to go back through and pull out. I'm, I'm making a new pile here. And new I'm gonna, pile. I'm going to show chat after. I don't think it's a keep pile, but it's a pile that makes me happy. Sweet. Mm. Now, maybe we, you've talked about this on other Chichev stuff, but it's okay. Let's uh, Q, what the you've got a, a number of cards where uh, there were white border that you've blacked, or mm -hmm. other or people some, have someone, blacked. Yeah, yeah, either me or someone uh, has made it black. Yeah. Is that just a an aesthetics thing? That's just like because all cards are black border now, it looks better to have them all black border, or is it actually that the white border shows on the edge of the? Yeah, it started off with like um, here. Let's we'll put this funny wrath back on. It started off with like more cards were black border, but maybe there'd be one or two that were white border in your deck, and so you just wanted to have your deck be can like consistent looking, and yeah, entirely aesthetic though, and and then. Eventually, there were so few cards that were white border that people started doing the opposite, where they just wanted to have as many white border cards as they could. And now there's some people that also, well, it's been, it's been a while. This is the first time this happened was years and years ago. But people will actually like take the like eraser or white paint to their black border cards. Oh no! Oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Having white like. Only a white border duel in your deck is actually really handy because yeah. then you can find it more easily. Well, the AP, right? One of my favorite things that that AP would do. Oh, what is this? So this is an F and M Elves of Deep yeah. Shadow. Yeah. Mm. And then I also found another from the Vault. Ooh. This one, Sun Channel. Ooh. All right. Now I need to I, I need to show a, a little stack here yeah, real yeah, quick. Sure. Many ornithopters. How many ornithopters <laughs> is too many ornithopter? Mm. <laughs> So I, this is this is a question. Those are all the ones like I own this. from that aren't from antiquities. Yeah, it, do we like these? Are these a quarter still? Because of probably less. Because, yeah. Well, because of modern and legacy. Um, beep beep. Right. I Affinity. think I think it's always been a played card. Like, like it's always something that you can, is you can this, end up in does a this deck. Go, does this go in the cell pile or the trash pile? I think it's chaff though. Yeah. It is chaff. Yeah, so it's it not quite as much as the spell bombs because they haven't been printed as much. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, that's right. I'm sorry, Paul. You were you're trying to say something. Uh, nothing. I was just I was just that uh, that that F and M foil uh, elves of deep shadow. Very nice. Thank you. I know it has been expressed on several occasions that uh, that card was fairly formative uh, for several members of the loading ready run uh, loading ready run crew in uh, in learning about themselves. <laughs> How about how about healing mm. salve, it's but in green? Yep. Ooh. Still not good. Color shifted <laughs> power, not power. <laughs> hey, Wheeler played this in a Canadian Highlander deck recently. It, that card that stomps. Card it just kills Dude. you. Yeah. So I bad. I was so I've always been so up on this card. I was one of the it, people that bought really them good. right oh, yeah. off the gate and played four in a deck. And we all thought it was uh, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and it's really not. <laughs> or really wasn't in that standard environment, but it has. It has held on. I really like that Tezzeret Agent of Bolus is like still, still relevant. Whoa. Just in a couple of Tezzeret, okay. Tezzeret was thought he was, uh, you know, Jace the Mind Sculptor as well. Yeah, that's didn't, right. Didn't really pan out. This card also seems to keep getting better. Like it's like s sort of slowly Defensive? gained more and more viability. In I could see it spots. in um, what the heck is that deck well, called? As more you know, 
clues and treasures and food yeah. as 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 more and more like incidental artifact tokens have come out. Yeah. Remember when this used to be like an auto include in green decks in Highlander? No, really? <laughs> but I believe you. Yeah, I like I can remember playing it myself. But wow, I got hard. I don't know chat. about I don't know about auto include. Are you thinking of Steve? I'm not thinking of Sakura right, Tribal. Right, 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 right. No. Sorry. No, this card used to be legit. You'd play it out like on curve. They didn't want to block it. You could kind of get in for chip damage. You like hold it back as a blocker. Would remember, like, oh no. Remember before Thespian stage, and if you just wanted to copy lands, like, Wait, oh, is it Vesuva? You had to like. Well, okay, do cool so stuff. Oh, legitimately, yeah. Vesuva was another sweet. one you can read. Here. So Vesuva was good before the legend rule changed. Right. Because it was right, a right. it was a, a, a stone mine, rain yeah. that they could never respond to because mm -hmm. it took out their academy, it took out all kinds of amazing legendary lands. You could also do a really sick play on your if you're like lands and you're playing white, you could play it with the flagstones of Trocare out. Yeah. And then like get a ton of landfall triggers over and over and over. Right. So like no, Vezuva was totally legit. This is probably the only card I mean um Phantasmal Image was another great reason yes. for the old for the old legend rule, but it you know wasn't great. All right, fine. Here we go. For people to hate. Oh, okay. yeah, the printing of Dryad Arbor. That's impossible to tell if it's a land or not. Yeah. That's an old Sorensen card. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, Meyer, Meyer Boa. The River Boa and the Meyer Boa. I think the River Boa is more popular in Highlander just because more people are going to end up playing uh, blue. But Meyer Boa, also pretty legit. And there's no card that gives your, it makes all lands into islands. So all right. How many Lanoir Elves is too many Lanoir Elves? Don't ask me. I mean, the real question is, here. how many pink mohawk uh, Atlanta worlds do you have? It's okay, I found more. <laughs> uh, yeah, non-zero. Okay, here, I'm going to put another box here. This is a weird one. one. Uh, yeah. Hang on a sec. Oh, that. Oh, okay, yeah, that one has been sorted already to be like, let's, <laughs> let's sell it, and it's kind of by price. How many, how many posts are you on, my dude? Okay, I'll have a quick peek through it anyway. I mean, Should I, 12 like, posts sounds good. But oh wow! Th stay with me here. Twenty-four posts. Should I leave this alone then? Sure. Yeah. Sorry. Leave that one alone. Okay. It is all. It awesome. Not quite chaff. Yeah. It's all like cheap sell stuff. So yeah, that that would be fine. Okay. We'll pull this black staff one. Did anything ever happen with this card? Does anyone care? It seemed like it could maybe be good. Black staff. No. Okay. Fair. But I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like it could be all right. Gold cards. Just like an AFR I'm, sealed that I threw in here or something. I'm pretty sure that uh, Adam oh, no, no. Adam played uh, one of those one of the choose your adventure books that he played mm -hmm. was involving you attempting to assemble the black staff of Waterdeep. Nice. You had to, it was like all broken into pieces and you had to go to different places to get different parts of it. Sweet. I yeah, mean, assembling the various the pieces of a thing sounds that's like a very classic like big D and D game, right? I mean, also also you know video game or whatever. Yeah, you yeah. must find the blade of my father, which is shattered into seven different pieces scattered across seven different kingdoms. Why are you one is busting? in the lava world. One is in the ice world. <laughs> yeah. One is in the jungle world. One is in the giant world. Yeah. And one is in the poop world, which Why we, do we, even we have made this just world? to make things really difficult. <laughs> Skargan Pitskulk. I do love we that still, guy. Do we still keep that one around? I mean, He's probably not worth anything. Yeah, but. we don't. He don't think he makes the cut anymore. Those were the days, though. Hey, remember Skarg and Pitskull girl? Okay, that one doesn't make the cut. I'm keeping all these Lanowar elves. I miss that era of Highlander. But too, that's fair. Much. All right, and I Glade Cover it. Scout is that one out too? Old bo uh, and Boggles. I mean, hilariously, Glade Cover Scout just like almost won a Pro Tour, so you'd think that people still need I've those. I've got yeah. a Sunlance here. You should cast end of turn targeting your opponent. <laughs> Isn't Sunlance a sorcery? Oh, and, right, 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 right. a creature. What was that? Yeah, what was that event? There's a pro. There was a there was a pro Magic streamer. Yeah. No, no, no this happened to Cameron, didn't it? Did it? I yeah, I think it happened both. Like, personally to Cameron. Where somebody was just like, you idiot, why didn't you end of turn Sunlance them to death? And you're like, one, it's an instant. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's a sorcery, it's not an instance. Two, it only targets creatures. Yeah. Mm. Because but thank up. you. That's why. Yeah. You're <laughs> stupid. I mean, you said pro magic streamer, and then you said Cameron, but those are just that, those are two the words same. for the same thing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Where's acid, the lie? Acidic slime? I think probably is commander chaff playable. Now. Oh, maybe, maybe, yeah. Any commander players in chat? Acidic slime. Yay or nay? 
Keep or purge? Courage. Or courage. Slurge. Surge. Still good. Purge. Oh, classic. classic. Your boy yeah. Scab Clan Mauler. I mean, don't don't fear, chat. Nelly owns like another oozes are great. Another acidic slime that we. It's can okay. Eat. Well, here's four back in the pile. Right. <laughs> There's a bunch of like. Oh. So sorry, Alex. Blastoderm! Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, that one's going okay, to the Okay, so there's pile. like a whole bunch of kind of good playables here. Like we've got Castigate, we've got uh, Rakdos Cackler, Gore Clan, Rampager, Unflinching Courage, War Leaders here, Lex, Putrefy, Coiling Oracle. I feel like people still want those cards. Now, I mean, they're all sort of mixed together. So I guess I can pull out the ones that I know. Now, Nelson, do you have, like, when we were going through uh, Serge's cards, mm -hmm. uh, he sort of had a uh, kind of a Highlander toolbox. Right. Is that something that you ha you have as, as well, or is it yeah, not, not so much? <gasps> no, I do. Uh, so, But I thought I wanted to go through these boxes first and see if, like, there's stuff to keep or add to those boxes and then my thinking for the next like year or two until what however long it takes till the next sort is to get all the stuff i want to keep and then sort it by by type and maybe we'll get through that this stream and then uh and then have like the is it marie kondo whatever the closet strategy where you're mm. like Does you put all your clothes joy? backwards <laughs> no you, yeah oh. but you give yourself a year or whatever right you put put all your car your, all your cards all your shirts in your in your closet like backwards. Sorry. Right. Yeah. Yeah. These are all coiling oracles. Well, yeah. Somebody needs those, right? Like I didn't oh, I didn't God. throw them in the garbage. So obviously, coiling oracles. Cash. Cards good. I'm not gonna just yeet a coiling oracle. So anyways, they're all backwards. Yeah, and then the 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 next whatever day it is, you know, four twenty or something, the following year, mm. whenever a year after you did it. All the shirts that are still backwards, you should give away. It's been a year. You went through all the seasons yeah. and you didn't wear it. Here's a here's a giant spider that didn't make it into your collection. Oh yeah, we need to we find should, the giant spider. We should spider set box. that aside. Sure, yeah. Third pile. It's like chit and chaff and giant spiders. Alright, here's your coil and oracles back. I don't know if those are keeps or not. I think those are probably keeps. Okay. I like yeah. that. Box is still I've, mine. I've got it. Okay. I haven't seen that acidic slime art before. I think it was an FNM promo. It's an FNM promo, yeah. yeah. It goes in. I, I feel <sighs> like there's a whole realm of magic cards in which the main character, like the 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 creature being depicted on the card, is actually in the background of the card. <laughs> Look at the. Oh. oh, this is signed too. It has the old T symbol for tap. This is revised. No, Ooh. I think it's revised. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, some revised Atlanta War Elves here. Well, sorry, that one's revised. Now you have the, oh, that's revised and signed. You have two of them. And then this is fourth edition Looks because like it, it's yeah. still white border, but it's got thicker. the old art and it doesn't have the, uh, the tap symbols been updated. Nice. That'll go in the keep pile. I want to see the rest of the elves. Like, mm. Llanowar Elf never really doesn't, that art of Llanowar Elf doesn't really fit in with the depictions of elves. But I want to see... I want to see the version of Llanowar that's filled with elves that look like the Llanowar elf, that version of mm. Llanowar elf. Anybody building uh, the like feather? pink punk elves? Are people still building feather? Probably not. Another another classic did, did, enzymatics card. Oh, oh wow! Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It just like didn't understand the brief. Kinda, I, I guess. It's like bloodlust. Yeah. That means she's like just really into the idea of blood, right? Right, like literally sure. take the, the word blood. blood and lust. Why yeah. is we're Wirewood Symbiote in this sleeve? Uh, I think there's writing on the back of that card. Oh, I was like, maybe <laughs> yeah. I shouldn't show it. No, oh, because you proxied it as a ponder? Well, like someone else, <laughs> I think that's Jono's writing actually. I think somebody proxied it and then it ended up at Yellow Jacket, and I was like, yeah, I'll take that. I'm playing Elves at the tournament this weekend or whatever, and I think I did play it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, interesting. Wow. I just didn't want them in with the rest of the cards. So, like, yeah, they, yeah, they, you, they have, used you have two cards that people actually play. <laughs> yeah. Like, these are actually playable, decent cards. They're, well, they're fine in, in the sleeve. Nest. Yeah, exactly. And then they've been, <laughs> they've been proxy as ponders. Yep. Those ponders oh. were more important at the time. Yeah. All right. Neat. I'll put those in your keep pile, I guess. Yep. It's. I remember. We're gonna hook someone up who needs a wirewood symbiote. Yeah. I remember as a kid playing and you know proxying cards and realizing that at a certain point that like I was just proxying lands as cards mm -hmm. and realizing at a certain point that there was cards that actually the lands were more valuable than yes. some of my commons and I was yes. like maybe I should just start 
using something else. Everybody goes through that, though. I right? just want to talk about the original Portal card nice. here. Because this was the set that was supposed to be introductory friendly. So it's got a little sword next to the attack and a little shield next to the defend. And it's got like this really high saturation art. I don't know. Pretty that, sweet. That's just that's just neat to me. Shouldn't, it, good shouldn't it say if he's attacks and is intercepted? Wasn't that something they did in yeah, Portal? Yeah, that sounds right too, yeah. Does it say not blocked? It says blocked. This might be Portal 2 then. Maybe they oh, it has Maybe a they dropped intercept. It does have a different symbol because the original portal was round and that's got sort of the, right? yeah, yeah. Th this is not the original portal. You are correct. I dig that art though. It's oh. very, very sort of impressionistic. Hey, Nelly, this yeah. might actually be worth like a lot of money. Oh, cool. Uh, Chuck, can you look up pack foil abundant growth? Oh I th man, I found my collection as, of these too. As a quick note, did that old gnaw bones go somewhere? Because uh, it's in my pile, yeah. So it's in the key Chad, pile. Chad said it was worth a fair amount. Yeah, I know. I knew. I knew gnaw bone needed to get sorted into the keep stack. Yeah, it's worth a fair amount to me in my commander games. <laughs> Nemesis Immortal worth anything? I have no idea. I'll put one copy. I doubt it. Okay. Twelve bucks. Twelve All right, bucks. That's, not, that's not a fortune, but it's it's more than I would have expected, though. But yeah, this card uh, has been like one of the worst cards in Magic for the longest time, and then just recently they printed some. I'm trying to remember. Can you remember which card it is? You like? Is it? One of the creatures that gets all the abilities, the lands in the, in the bin, or something, or the artifact that gets the lands in the bin. Is that? Wait, is this good you, now, chat? Does that let you do something? All right, gamers, what's the combo? The card in question is it's Mirrored Safe Magosi, yeah. the Water Veil. I think you Mirrored Safe House with a Magosi in your bin, and then and like, then yeah, and then for some reason because the oh right, it's because the Mirrored Safe House doesn't enter tapped, right? Enters the battlefield tapped, tap blue and tap, put an Aeon counter on it, tap remove an Aeon counter, time walk. Right, and then you it returns it to its owner's hand, but you can uh, you can then replay it because it's an artifact. You just yeah. recast it. Oh, and it doesn't take an extra turn because it's tap. Yeah, okay, interesting. Yeah. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> Is that right? Is there a third part of that combo? I'm trying to remember. I just remember that Magosi finally like came up in the Magic news for the first time ever. And you're like, I have 17 copies of yeah, this card. Yeah, I have a lot of those. I don't really know why. Ever since you missed on Caracas, you're like, I'll keep all the weird legendary <laughs> cards. You never know. Sorry, Chief. Yeah. Yes, sorry. Yes. Oh, okay. More boxes. Okay, have you been through both of these? Yeah. The, okay, great. The white one, like... It's weird? It's, it's just like this mix of oh, yeah. sort of like, okay ones, but I pulled all the rares out. Yeah, so. I price sorted these like four years ago or something. Oh, okay. And so they were like, they were set aside. I was trying to like get ahead on selling them. I was always so sad that this card wasn't good. Yes. I was always uh, yeah, so sad same. that that card wasn't Target really? Wife every time I opened a pack of Future Sight. Yeah, you're like, oh, you're like oh. Oh, oh, oh my god, that'd be so like, you just get jebated by the frame yeah. and the mana cost. Absolutely. Wow. Just, <gasps> oh. Oh, what is right, what is on. this? Nelly? Sucks for the archer. Everyone's just like oh, disappointed. Oh, that's just to see uh, an up. unhinged card that I think is great. I don't know. I, I like singing, and so I like just being instructed to sing by magic cards. It's just a rampant growth. Well, it's like a nature's lore if you do it right. Thought that was a fun piece of game design. Do you want to keep this weird full art giant growth or no? I don't need to. <gasps> The, the OG. Oh, it's the a, original Thalid. It's a Thalid bowl. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm not keeping any of these, eh? Well, I'll keep the I'll keep like, the um, the uh, land aid for you. Okay. Who, like who gave that mushroom a spear? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Help! He's got Why a spear. Why would they do that? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, this is like a good one for Highlander. Like. Uh, oh my God! The pack foil, pack foil, and holy heat. But oh, yeah. yeah, also cyclone. Yeah, cyclone. Look at the condition Whoa. of this Arabian Nights card right here. Like this thing is pristine. That's very cool. Yeah. You can barely even see it. This is the old printing where there's a there's a number there. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's like the exact same. It's like Juzan Jin costs four mana. Yeah. Also, also it says put one chip on it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's tilting. Hey, it doesn't say put a counter. It's yeah. probably it's Wait, really? must have been, it must have been uh, ratted. Like oh, if yeah, you look presume... up if you look up Cyclone, I'm sure it doesn't say any of the words that are on that one. 
<gasps> oh, here's another card. Here's another card that might be worth mm. something. A little P3K action. Oh. I doubt it's worth much. Oh, I found a mine crank though. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes just cards from that set are worth more than you'd imagine. I'll keep this one because it's. But also impressive. English P3K. Right. Right. Okay. So All right. twenty-five bucks for the Cyclone, eighteen bucks for the Zodiac Rooster. Hey, what's really? up, Virgin Catacombs? That is not Wait, what I expected. Oh, just a random yeah, Virgin Catacomb Vindicate. Vindicate. Gotta keep him somewhere. Up. So Nelson was joking about like we're gonna go through a draft box and find like duels. Yeah, yeah, you might. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we're like, ha ha. But seriously, keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a bayou in one of these boxes. Maybe I don't oh, know. That's there okay. That that's be. when the stream ends. It's like whoever finds the bayou. Yeah. Sure. We did it. We found the literal needle in the haystack. Bear, 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 nice. bear. If only yeah. if only touching hay was this much fun, right? Here's another good one. Elvish pioneer. Mm, footfalls. I found rhinos. This is still a deck. Mm. Do you think Graham plays this in Bear Force One? Probably should. It's three three. It's like what? a bear and a half. Breaks the bear meta wide open. <laughs> <laughs> the bear meta. Yeah. So sad that this didn't become like a decent card to play in standard, or or any other format. I just think this card's really elegant. Oh, I don't know if I put one in that deck that I built for uh, Adam. That's an idea. Oh, I guess it's not an ETB effect, so I can't. Yeah. Also, if we find a murderous chupacabra dibs. <laughs> you mean murderous chupa thingy? Murder, chupa thingy? Yeah. Murder chupa thingy. Oh, this card has seen some love. Yep. So this is a green card, chat. <laughs> <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah, that card was like some of the glue holding my first uh, Highlander deck, I, Naya, ramp together, I right? I promise this is green. Uh, it looks like there was some glue actually on this card. <laughs> yeah. It's just the old foiling process, right? Do you want me to keep it from... For reasons or no? It can it can live with the chaff. It can it can it can be set free. Stay chaffed. I'd like you to know I put twelve copies of Overrun aside. I lost my deck or I le left my deck behind at Yellow Jacket one time, and then like the next week I came, and I was like asking around, and then the shopkeeps there are, like looking looking behind the counter, and and they're like. Foil brown scale. That seems like you. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm on like a black green dredge deck. Thank you. <sighs> oh, old hoof classic mm -hmm. Tinder wall. Nice. nice. They reprinted this card, so it's probably not worth anything. I probably missed. Idyllic window Tutor. To sell it. Yeah. No, I mean, Idyllic Tutor is probably still good. How much? Right. How much do you think they've reduced the price? I feel like the original is maybe worth ten bucks. If we're lucky. Ooh. Hey, Swarm Yard. This card actually. I need to put in the third pile. So this is a card that I don't think I have in my Highlanders Toolkit box, but probably should be there. Which card are we looking at? Archon of Valor's Reach. Okay. I remember finding one of those at that Command Fest, actually, and being excited. <gasps> oh, my queen! There she is. Oh, who's that? That is the Verudian Enchantress. My beloved. Here's a card I can remember paying 25 cents for, but I like I didn't open it in a pack or anything. I just think the art's fantastic. That's important sometimes, you also, know? Similarly, I have a Mark Dedean signed Grip of Chaos. <laughs> Thanks, Mark Dedean. Here's a great photo of Elvish Fury. Me in the morning before my coffee. Who's who's Where, the other person? Yeah, in the morning where you just punch a cat. Punch a cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what is the stamping on this? Is this a Pro Tour stamping, the 43 on it? Like yeah, what is going on there? It's a Grand Prix, but yeah, right, same yeah. thing. Yeah, it's a stamped card to make sure that you're, nobody's like, try, try no to reduce the, yeah, the chance of cards being added from outside the field. It's not like it completely prevents players from cheating, but it oh, wow, that's... eliminates one element of and limited then play. And finally, cheating. do you yeah. want this, this Russian naturalize or no? I don't need it, yeah. That's fair. All right. I All like right. it, but I don't need it. All right, I am done these. And actually, Sweet. I could probably consolidate a box here because this, okay, this is the chaff and this is the keep. So I don't know if, how you want to do this. Yeah, yeah, let's give you some more chaff. I 
think that one of these boxes I had was pretty late here. Well, apparently, according to Mr. Bitterness in chat, that's Miri getting punched in the face by Sky Shroud Elf. Okay. <clears throat> so, how did the how did the uh, the stamping on the card? Where like doesn't that if you've, if you've got a bunch of awesome stuff in your deck, doesn't that ruin a ton of cards? Well, it's limited. It's not. It's not a oh, standard it's a, deck. It's, it's a limited yeah. deck. Oh, so what okay. happens is you draft all the cards, you open the sealed product, you submit your deck list, and then they mark all of the cards. And Oof. that way, that way, you can't switch anything out or somehow forge the paper. It's just like Nelson said; it's another level of of redundancy to make sure that people can't that can't just mess with their pull, sealed pool. Just hope you didn't pull any money in the draft, I guess. I mean, if you do, at that point, maybe you're hoping to win, and the card isn't that damaged. <clears throat> I mean, I guess that it was in a thing is a certain might even add value to it. Probably not, but. <laughs> It'd have to be pretty famous, and unfortunately, our Pro Tour just doesn't quite have that level of... What's the word I'm looking for? Cachet. Here you go, Alex. I'll let you go through this box. Ooh. That one's probably going to... That one's probably going to frustrate you. Yeah, I remember... <laughs> Sorry. Remember in the, uh, cards. the first um, Masters um, uh, Pro... Or not uh, the Magic... Was it a Magic Fest or whatever it was called? The the big Magic event that happened for the first Modern Masters set. It was a Grand Prix, yeah, Dan Grand Prix. Grand Prix yeah. that was down in Vegas, and it was like the biggest one they'd ever had. Yeah, and four uh, Grand Prix in one. Yeah, and people were pulling goifs and just dropping. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. the field was huge, At the right? First so Vegas, your yeah. odds to day two were worse than normal. Like obviously, it comes down to skill as well, but that format too, like it was this giant sealed. Grand Prix, I played in it, uh, and that format was really designed for draft. So it was kind of an extra like level of lottery ticket on top of the usual lottery ticket that is sealed, right? Where you kind of needed to get lucky and not only open a, a strong pool, but a synergistic pool that like exhibited one of the qualities of one of the good decks in the draft environment, not just like but some you, good you stuff in two ball. colors. Yeah, and it was like such a pain. Yeah. <laughs> Because like a foil, uh, a foil goif was like 200, 250 or something at that. Yeah, point. at least. Yeah. Yeah, it and just represented a better EV than trying to play the event. Well, and especially since, like, goif is one of those cards that isn't actually like that good in, like it's fine in in draft or in sealed or whatever, but if, it's not amazing in the same way as, as it is in the you know a standard deck or a, uh, a constructed deck. Yeah, and in. And constructed, it's pretty stupid. I have this card that a friend gave me just because it's painted by Nelson De Castro, and Nelson De Castro signs uh, his paintings with just writing his whole name out in pretty cool letters. So it just kind of says Nelson on it. Mm. Yeah. You, you can, you know, you take those. Yeah, it's fine. You're like, but wait. Cool and good, even. I'm yeah. also Nelson. <laughs> How can this be? Also drafted a lot of Ravnica Allegiance. Oh, that's pretty. And Guilds of Ravnica. Oh, mm, nice. Hello. Yeah. Hello, little friend. That's do not, also pretty. Do, do not uh, boop the snoop oh. of the shrink mark. You right. got. You got a bunch of the. This is the retro frame border from Time Spiral Remastered. Time Spiral Remaster. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, quite, getting, that's quite recent. Yeah, pretty I ended recent, up getting yeah. two foils. I got an old border time spell remaster of Rex Sage. Okay. And Dismember. Nice. And I was pretty happy on both of those. Yeah. I especially for like old staples in this format, I'm always just like, yeah, little little sweet spot in my heart. This is pretty cool. Has anyone seen this? I got this at Seattle twenty nineteen. So I can't remember which of Oh this this is maybe another this is like the first command first round of Command Fest, but right before the pandemic. Um. This is Alter Sleeves. Yeah, they're oh, yeah. not his cards anymore. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, just we're just noticing that there's someone else's name here. I didn't steal the box. It wasn't me. He left it behind. But yeah, Alter Sleeves, pretty cool. Mm. Oh, that's that's cool. Did yeah, have, that's a good way of doing it. So it doesn't actually hurt the card yeah. underneath. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If you need to ship the card quickly or whatever, you can just keep the sleeve or. Nelson, something. I didn't know I want to judge you. Yeah. But I want you to know that every I, I single card in this, every yeah. single card in this box is garbage. Oh that yeah, that box was 
Ooh. I passed it to you saying you wanted to consolidate. So I passed you one that I'd already gone through <coughs> that was all chaff because you were going to put it in there and then empty this box because you asked me to consolidate. I thought it. you wanted me to go through it. I passed you another box you can go through if you want. But I think oh. these are all garbage too. I think this is the Pringles box. Oh. Sorry, buddy. No, that's okay. <laughs> Wrecked. Uh, you're I almost keep, believe you. You're not going to keep Path of Ancestry for Commander decks? Or do you already have like 80? You're not going to keep a Foundry Inspector? Mm. Oh, no. those, are, uh, those are Judge Foils? Yeah, there's some judge foils I haven't done anything with. Now, actually, one second, Alex. Did you flip it over? Huh? Did you flip it over? Because when they ship you judge foils, it's each, each of those has like four, I think. Yeah, no, no, flip it over to the other <laughs> side. Yeah, yeah, put yeah, it back over there. More cards. So I, I, I don't know how many of you in chat are judges, but when you get mailed judge foils, it looks a little something like that. Hey, did you say that last week that you don't have one of these? I do think I have one. Okay. I just didn't put it in a deck. Do you like want to take this one? My gift to you. Oh shucks. It's an Arbor thanks. Elf, if you were curious. It's just Hold Arbor on. Elf because we were talking about Wait, it. Wait, so yeah. the back side of those cards is also printed with the No, it's no, no, just no, sorry, two sorry. cards. It's just a hard sleeve set with more than one card. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, oh, you have the two, two cards, cards yeah. that come out. So yeah, that's just how they ship them some, yeah. some of the times. Yep. Mm, thousand Year Storm. We we both have some reps on this deck. I played this deck a bunch in paper, and you played it a little bit on, on Arena. On Arena, right? I did, yeah. yeah. So we have two Sterling Groves, two Infernal Tutors, two Burfin Pods, two Ive Ugins. So you got the, you got, oh, this is back when they, correct me if I'm mistaken, but they sent you a number of Judge Foils equal to your Judge level. What? So I was yeah. L1, so I got one set, and you as an L2 would have gotten two sets of the same thing. But it, it, these are Judge Academy too, so it also translated to me having to pay a higher set of dues. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, in, in no way, like, in no way there's supposed to be a judge or anything weird about no, that. No, for but sure, that's what they did. For yeah. a very long time, long that was the only time. compensation you had because you never got paid being a judge. Sometimes if you worked events, they wouldn't pay you either because then you'd be an employee, so you might get product. So like yeah. the judge foils you got for all the work that you did was about it for compensation. Um, what am I, yeah, oh, man. this is the next thing. Okay. Beige could really clean up on those. <laughs> As a level oh five. Oh my gosh, yeah. So, oh, those are just all RAV duels, Nelly. Yeah, there's, there's a chunk in here that's just like a bunch of cash. All right, I, I'm gonna need you to okay. I'm gonna need you to go back through these. What I'm looking at this is, hold on, what? Uh, yeah. What am I? If I oh wait, I, is this a whole deck that's still together? You got like a three. I mean, I unsleeved it. This is, I just, yeah, I found my. Judge um, Foil Rustic Studies. What is it? This is for Judge Foils in a card. Bosh, bosh, had, wait, what's that? Bosh, 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 what's that, found it. What's that yeah. front card? This one, uh, Teferi's Protection. Yeah, I was gonna sell it to Ben. To Tobin, that's another oh. person's name. Yeah, it's funny. Ben and Two Ben are both. Judge names. Foil Wishy P. Yeah. Judge Foil Wasteland. But I think you got one off someone else. Oh yeah, more of that secret layer. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That whole artifact secret layer box there. Yeah, uh, Judge Foil Sliver Legion. It shows how long Nelson's been a judge for, by the way. Judge Foil Mana Crypt. Oh, I found my Golos. I thought oh, so. I thought I lent it to someone else. I just Golos. had it in this other stupid box. Sick. Mm. I didn't even you know I was a judge a for a monastery mentor. Interesting. <laughs> Turns out. Does that make you happy? Oh, Get yeah. it. Do you want to play it's for just... Anti later? Uh... Ooh, actually, legitimately love the art for the yeah. Judge Foil Spell Sky. Judge Foil Spell Sky is a nice one. I should be doing this upside down so chat can see. Doran, Pendlehaven. Gold bottling. Kit. Ooh, bribery. Oh, what is this? It's a Ammon Cat. That's the Ammon Cat. Oh yeah, that's an invention I can't or whatever. Read it. Yeah, it's one. Of, it's those ones. <laughs> the Ammon Cat uh, illegible cards that are fancy. Through the breach. That one I opened in a pack. That's my only. Uh, are you keeping any of the rare Crisis um, Treasure or whatever? I don't know. Yeah, they could probably stay with the chaff. Yeah. yeah. They're like almost never worth anything, are they? Bone picker. Oh, what is this box? All right, so this this deck we oh, know okay. belongs to Nelson. It's true. Mm. That's my box right there. Oh, oh, God. I love I love his art. Yeah, so, a chat. There you go, chat. Mm. Mm. Concerning. The little search found the Pringles box. I don't think there's anything in there worth they're, anything though. It's they're, like they're Pringled different amounts. That's interesting. Yeah. Once you pop, you can't stop. It's true. Once you pop, that's great. Well, they just kept changing how. Like how they, uh, how they foil the cards, right? They still keep changing it. Yeah, I mean the foiling process. I feel like it changes on almost every set. But yeah, why exactly. though? 
I don't know. They've, they they've got, got some right that are yet? good. Well, no, but they've found some that are good, but probably they haven't found one that's like both cheap and good. So that's my guess anyway. Uh, do you care about <laughs> emblems? Uh, yeah, actually, sure, yeah. Put those People in the keep pile. trying to tell me that I need to emblems. care about tokens and emblems, and I just can't. Some of them, I just yeah. can't. That's fine. You don't have to. I like to. Yeah, there's so many of them. Like I, mean, I can barely get all the cards I want to play with. <laughs> Fair. I mean, tokens are are good to have. Emblems, eh, yeah. <clears throat> like. Theoretically, if you're ultimating your planeswalker, well, you're probably not going to be playing over. for too much too long, too much yeah. longer anyway. Yeah. For the longest time, Oof. I had one token, and it was just Merit Lodge, and that was it. That's your entire token collection? That was my entire yeah. token collection. And then I wanted to get into tokens, and I backed a classical art Kickstarter for tokens. Oh, nice. Okay. And I was like, that was kind of neat. And then even just managing that, I was just like, oh, I cannot be bothered. <laughs> just hanging on to your one set of tokens. This is exhausting. It's too much. Well, the yeah. thing that was really frustrating was it didn't even represent like a quarter of the tokens oh, I needed I to play okay, with. Okay, okay. Like right? it, it hit all the classics. It got me like goblin and zombie and bear or whatever. Yeah. And no decks needed those. But it's like and it's one of the like if you've got some <clears throat> tokens, it's almost worse than having none of the tokens. That was sort of my thought, right? Can I tell you how good this card was in 1994. What card is that? It's <laughs> Acacian Town. It's mm. six mana, sorcery, make four one ones. Which, like, what in house. white now, that costs usually about four mana and is a common. And this was like a rare. And no, citizen tokens don't have a lord or anything. Like, being a citizen is, like, not great. But, uh, yeah. Just multiple bodies on one card was super relevant. Those oh, old white, way. those old white cards, like before they changed the, the border, yeah. Uh, before they changed the frame, where they're almost illegible. Yeah. <laughs> Check uh, out. The... We should actually start opening this up a little bit while we're yeah. blocking the frame. This is my keep pile, but it's kind of medium. That's okay. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Lore okay. foil. Oh yeah, this was uh the morning tide pre-release card. Yeah, these are um, so far so good. So far so not good. So far so not good. Yeah, that's okay. That's that's true. Uh, I've been holding on to that box mostly just in case anyone needs to like do acetone art. strips or something. I was gonna yeah. say like art on foil cards. Yeah, like it's like a if they just wanted resources, the, yeah. card resource. Yeah. Chat is uh, mentioning that uh, Nuka Pena does have a citizens. Uh, that's right, actually. Uh, citizens matter sub theme. It's back, baby. I, I still think Acacia Town is probably garbage. Oh, this card I probably, think might be probably from my back, original yeah. collection. This one, one, oh. one of the cards that I kept. Bodyguard! During, during one of my early purges in the 90s yeah. when I was like, okay, yeah, I haven't been playing That's just Magic straight up month. David Hasselhoff. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, Relentless Rats? Surely. Yeah, yeah, you always keep Relentless Rats. That's true, actually. You can always sell a Relentless Rat. All right, now that I'm seeing the volume of cards I've gone through, I think the box I passed you probably needs another purge because I was not, maybe, like I kept all the Llanowar Elves. That's fine, yeah. Of which uh, there are many. <laughs> they reprinted Healing Solve in 8th edition. Is Basal Monolith an uncommon or, or I think rare? it's an uncommon, yeah. I think you keep that. Yeah, like, but, yeah, for sure. Can put it in the pile, Misty, Scalding Turn. Line of the wood, reflecting <gasps> cool. You gonna be okay? My yeah. boy! The pack foil <gasps> Esperzoa? There That's you hot. go. Can that be my payment? Yeah, absolutely. Please take that. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> this is another one. This is a Ron Spencer card that I just love the art on and the name. And uh, from Mirage. I cannot tell you what the heck it does. Like I have, I have stared at this card for so many hours to have What's, not been oh able God, to read templating. it. What yeah. is that called? It's called Soul, Soul Echo. Echo. When yeah. you play Soul Echo, put X Echo counters on it. At the beginning of your upkeep, if there are no Echo counters on Soul Echo, bury it. Otherwise, target opponent may choose that for each one damage dealt to you until your next upkeep, you instead remove one Echo counter. You do not lose the game as a result of having less than one life. 
I really want chat to look at how the words are templated on this card. Is that the yeah, only well. card that has indented that's words? That's what I'm going to say, it? right? Yeah, it's pretty weird, hey. Oh yeah, just I yeah, I was close this? I was close to bringing this to a tournament. <laughs> I started to get close to it anyway. I win. Oh, the place at a battle of wits. Yeah. I think partly it's just like there was a place at a battle of wits that came in on a collection and I was like yeah, this seems like an annoying card to have to find, and I might play it in tournament. So, <laughs> so like, you know, was just straight up like a scene from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Oh, hey, my friends. Yes. It's Can we take six. a little break. Yeah, sure. Okay. How are we feeling about this? Yeah, have a little bend and a stretch. All right, everybody. Welcome to the one-hour mark of the Purge version of Chit Chat. We're gonna take a couple-minute break here, run some ads, do a little stretch and bend, and more of this after the break. So stick around. Good evening and welcome back to part two of the Purge and Ellie's collection. Here at a little bonus LRR MTG stream. We're getting there. We are making our way through some cards. Things certainly. are happening. Things are happening. I, uh, <laughs> I'm guilty of this is the first time I ever rolled into uh, which store is it? Strike Zone, I think, in in Houston. I found a copy of this card that I hadn't seen under anyone else's glass and had been cast against me and attacked me for lethal in various early games of Canadian Highlander. And so I snapped one up for only like $7 US. I thought it was so clever, feeling so smart about my purchase for this card and from the original is? portal. And then they just put it in Modern Horizons. Oh, so yeah. As Drake. an uncommon, it's just like, okay, cool. This doesn't matter at all now. And really, I never put it in a deck anyway. Before I bought it before the Modern Horizons one came out. You're... Your brief flirtation with spec card speculation that... Uh... Oh, I meant to cast it. Yeah, it wasn't just like, yeah. Well, that happened to me with Karmic Guide, right? There's some cards that you hunt and you hunt and you hunt and you hunt for, and yeah. you just can't find them, even though they're not necessarily pricey. You boy. Hey, oh, hippie. And then they get reprinted, and you're like, oh, okay, never Hip mind. To be a square. Yeah. Hypnotic Spectre is definitely a Castlevania monster. It really is. Yeah. So how come this never got played in uh, Mono Black? Oh, that's a fair question. Because, um, like, it's... Yeah, no, I, I played it back in the 90s. <laughs> at first glance, Could it's like, it. oh, it's a second copy of uh, um, Sinkhole. Sinkhole. Yeah. But surely it's not actually. No, it's worse than Sinkhole in by many a ways. lot. Yeah. But, like, it's only two mana, so it still might be playable. I think the issue with it is it feels almost like a a uh, punish mechanic. Actually, this is maybe borderline as a card in this box. Agony War. Do we okay. care about that? Yeah, no? maybe. No, I don't know. No, I'll put Do it away. Do you care about it? I don't. Would you like a foil Agony War? We're not sending it. <laughs> All right, Nelly, you are correct. Everything in this box is um, yeah. Except for that one pack for Lesperzoa, which is the greatest card of my life. Well, good. I'm, that means that it was worth you going through that box, because I didn't know you. Uh, so what do I do, do with this box now that we know that we don't want anything in oh, it? Oh, right. Uh, we'll just put it back with the others. That's Yeah, we're putting but the we'll, chaff back but, in the boxes, and we're pulling the non-chaff. We're pu pulling the good cards out. Okay, well, yeah. I did I did put some chaff in there. Okay, so this That's is fine. done. This yeah. is done. What percentage okay. of the cards do you think we've gone through now? Uh, of you, the ones I brought? Like you do three quarters. Did you do this already, or no? Oh, it's got tokens in it. I think that one is for you. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. Uh, now You've got three quarters of the cards you brought. That's good. Yeah, we're getting there. For blight, it says if enchanted card a uh, land is uh, becomes tapped, mm -hmm. destroy it. Or actually, it says when enchanted land is tapped, destroy it. Right. It probably has changed slightly in wording. For tap sacked lands, does that actually override the sack? No, or, it'll just put the trigger on the stack. You can't like blight their marsh flats and keep stop them, them from, from getting. Oh, you hands. needed a ravenous no. chupacabra, right? Hooray! No. Oh. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, I do <laughs> the need ravenous a ravenous chupacabra, chupacabra at yeah. home. Ravenous chupacabra at home. Oh, That's you right. got me. Yeah. yeah, got me. There's like, put me in, coach. Yeah. Ah, mm. uh, well, Sorry. you see. Did you know Janine Johnson is local to the island? Uh, yeah, actually, I have, I didn't bring it in, but I have an altar of hers on uh, a playmat. She's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh. I mean, she rolled into Yellow Jacket one day looking for cards just to, like, nice. That's very pretty. Oh, yeah, she, was, she was looking for some of her cards? Yeah, we, yeah, Ed <laughs> found a couple of her own cards just to, like, have in her portfolio, and, like, uh, 
myself and another store rat were just store like, rat. would you sign our play mats? <laughs> yeah. And then she doodled something. Do you yeah. want we these? Were, we were starstruck. It's Infuriate and Nature's Im um, Adventurous um, Impulse? Nah, it's okay. No? They can just go and check. Here's a homie I haven't heard the name of in a dog sage. I don't know if these are keeper. Carnifex Demon. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Yeah. That's when you go up to her and you're like, oh, man, I love your smallpox. <laughs> I... <laughs> You also did um, Jungle Lion. Mm. Yeah. A couple other ones. Cannot intercept. Chevy Inspector. Do we still care about Disciple of the Vault? Um, I think it yes. might still be legal in Popper, yeah. Well, I mean, I also think uh, Commander. Sure. Okay. Uh, I'm borderline getting ready to play that for uh, Canlander. Oh, great! You gonna Especially, play Arista Scraps? Or well, because they yeah. printed that second copy in the right. 40k decks, right? Right, 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 right Like right. that makes it kind of legit. That redundancy yeah. is what it needed, you know. That's sick. There are so many Doom Blades in here. Yeah. There oh. was a little while there that Yellow Jacket was sold out of Doom Blades, and this when I say a little while, I mean like. Half of a week in 2011 or and something. And that's because you had them all. <laughs> no, but no, but then since then I'm like, oh god, I hold on to the Doom Blades. They might run nice. out again. It's like, no, that's not going to happen, Nelly. You don't need to keep all the Doom Blades. It's it's like people who like grew up during the Great Depression, you know, have to uh, make sure that the hoard thing. Yeah, yeah. If you play exactly <laughs> like that, yeah. exactly like that. That's yeah. called trauma. Yeah, if you yeah. grew up during the Great Depression of the lack of Doom Blades and duresses, you know, jacket era. When you That's had to I'll search never, five different stores to yeah, find a fourth, I'll right never flame. get rid of a, fe a spell pierce for the same reason. Right. <laughs> yeah. You're just looking for spell pierces. Actually, if there's any from um, uh, Zendikar, I need one. There, you want there, Zendikar spell pierces? Yeah, uh, just one. Okay. I'm lo I'm looking for uh, like bare basic kind of like blue staples because I just don't have them. Word. Hey, look. Blight of Deutsch. Mm. I mean, maybe I have tried Blade in Mono Black if there's two of them in there. Maybe like a long time ago. I could believe it. Yeah. I mean, I bet you there's just a bunch of old cards that at some point were like, this is good, right? And you're like, oh, no, no, no. We were wrong about that one. You just get your expectations all up, and then like when the rubber hits the road, you're like, oh, this sucks. <laughs> this is this is mad stankin'. Wait, 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 wait. Is We're this waiting. the new Bell Borka? What is this card? Bell Borka. We just talked about this on North 100, didn't we? Spectral Surge. No, I'm wrong. It's a different card, yeah. I think I played it in Commander or something. I yeah, just... yeah, this came up. It was in someone's Commander deck that you were in the game of. That, that might not be, okay, that might not be a public yet. Yeah. Well, okay, so we're at kind of a crunch here now. So we're going to wait until Surge has done this box, okay, and then we're going to move, <laughs> we'll move into phase two. I, just a foil Karn Liberated. Just chilling, yeah. Just chilling. Dang. That's my foil Karn Liberated box. <laughs> the rest okay. of the box is just padding. Okay, so this is chat. That's all a keep stack you've got over there. That's all like the good the goods. And then this is more chat. Let's see if so we can So to be honest, these, I yeah. did put that one box that you are going to want to go back through again because I I misunderstood the assignment. Oh no! At first, so you're going to want to just maybe do a real quick glance okay. at that. And it's then probably worth just like having a quick peel through. Sure. Yeah, like why don't you double check what we've gone through and okay. be like keep or not? Oh, I see. There's like some some chaff in here. Maybe I get it. I get it. Yeah, well, there's fine. like 17 Lanor elves, you know. And every one of them adds a green just as well as the previous. Because there's cards and all the spell bombs. Because there's cards oh, yeah, that, like, no, you're it. probably supposed to get rid of these, but maybe you sell them. Like, I didn't quite know. No, you're good. You're good. You grabbed all the things that go in the 25 cent commons, and yeah. I appreciate it. There's just a misty 25. rainforest in this. Hmm. Yeah, that one, for example, you should probably keep. <laughs> or sell. Like, you know? uh, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. exactly. I, hello? What, what in the it? world is this? Uh, yeah, that's Tiamat. Yeah, a full art foil borderless Tiamat. I don't know why in my head I'm just picturing Shivam pronouncing that card. <laughs> DM. And I, I can't I can't do a good impersonation of, of his voice, but you could picture it, right? Like he'd laugh. <laughs> this is just kind of charming to encounter. What are we looking at here? Oh. Swamp Mosquito through the years. Swamp yeah. Mosquito and Swamp Mosquito glow up. Yep. 
the older one is like more purple, but the newer one's like sharper. Mm. Here's another interesting question. Full art foil, but it's black dragon. So? There's a Timmy yep. that's gonna love that. It's a full art foil. Are there still Timmies? Sound seven off in the mana, chat if seven you're a Timmy. Mana, yeah, seven mana four four dragon. Is this you, chat? Are you <laughs> are you stoked for this card? Are you a seven mana four four dragon? Call this number. <laughs> if you or someone you love is yeah. a seven mana four four, four dragon. dragon. That's right. You may you're... be entitled to compensation. <laughs> that's right. Feel the ruin we keep. Oh, there we go. There's some weird cards that I haven't seen in a long time. I'm also keeping all the rares here. Oh, it's been... oh yeah, you're going through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm fixing your. your oh my. So, oh, all right. I want you to know that so fifty percent of the cards that I put aside. It's fine. Uh, it's fine. Has been ruled as chaff. It's okay. It's good. This is this is why we stream. And I think some of them are sellable or not, you know. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's fine. You take you still take the chaff and you like, you know, you go to the, the LGS on a Tuesday morning or something when it's not too busy and yeah. What do you give me? Hey, hey, I've got these cards. Do you wanna take a look? You know? They're not all what? foil Ramos Dragon. You engine, wanna but... peep this mm. filth? Yeah. Uh, check out Keep my film. Check out the etched foiling on this oh, yeah. weirdo card. Dargo. What, what even is this? Dargo, Dargo. the shipwrecker. Yep. Giant legendary giant pirate. He's holding he's holding a crawfish in his hand and eating it raw. He's a legendary giant pirate. Dargo he just does what he wants. But that, but if they're a giant how big is this crawfish? Very big. Yeah. Is, now the question is, is he an intentional shipwrecker? Or mm. is he just like the saddest pirate who can never get on? <laughs> He's, like, He's just always trying to get on the can ship. Can I be part of your crew? Look, Please. Dargo, we've talked about this. You keep wrecking the ship. Dargo. Oh. Get Dar off, Dargo. Dargo just want to be loved. I just want to be a pirate. Okay, let me sneak back into this. This is the shaft going in here, right? Uh, this is bad or keep bad? The library of Leng. <laughs> you, you monster. <laughs> We've got a lot of cards to get through, Surge. This is uh, another card. This is a Herald. foil. I'll keep it. Safe. Storm Herald. Oh, and for a while, oh, people yeah. were pretty hype on that card, Yeah, right? I was pretty hype on that card when it first came out. I was kind of hoping that we'd see some sort of Ground Clouds 2 Electric Boogaloo deck. But I don't know if that happened. Like, I thought I was seeing playing There's Legacy a storm for a while, wasn't it? Okay, this, this is empty in case... Yeah, you have a big keep stack that needs to go somewhere. Actually, yeah. That's okay. This actually, would be a actually place just to put the rares. Right. Okay, so. All right, I'm almost done here too. So you know what we us. should. You know what we should do actually while we're putting this. Could, this is gonna be another just a segue into the third okay. part. So segue into the third part. Bad. 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 Yeah, bad. Bad. Chaff. Chaff. So, anything that you see in the keep pile that you think, hey, Nelly, you aren't currently playing this in Highlander, but you probably should. I would I would appreciate having that tossed in a, th so a hold on, hold to on, go hold into on. the next Okay, yeah. so we go Tricky. through all of these cards. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's playable versus sellable. Is that the next pass? Is that what you're saying? Well, just anything that, yeah, because we want to make, we want to like, we're going to sort out the Highlander Toolkit next, right? So we're going to go through and sort cards by type and get them ready to build decks. But a lot of these cards I already have a copy of. So I guess I can, I'll just, it's mostly me that has to do it. So when you say by type, you mean like creature, or do you want to do color first or type? I want to do type first and try that. But then after we do by type, we'll do by color per type. Well, a lot of these cards I still think are just just sellable. Like yeah, not, okay, these should fine. not be in your collection. These okay, should be great. sold. Okay, perfect. So maybe we should go through it first and be like yeah. the keep and the sell pile. Yeah, and that's And then fine. sort the keep pile afterwards. Yeah, no, that's good. Um, yeah, sorry, Alex. What are what's your I am just right now? Um, going through these foils because I've got fo uh, foil commons, uncommons, and then rares. Nice. Okay, cool. So, all right, here I'll get, I've got one more box for you, Serge. I like that there's googly eyes taped to one of the boxes. Here, remind me what's in here. Nothing. You've been clubbed. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to bring that bit back. <laughs> Do you need a bubbly? <laughs> Ooh, can I have one? Yeah, go for it. Sick. 
Thank you. You dare undermine the sanctity of the chit chat with a buble? <laughs> okay, so this box is empty. I did bring some waters. <laughs> it's got dividers because I feel like we'll need a bunch of dividers. Okay. 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 So, this is that's like the keeps or the cells. Right? I've never been clubbed before. Oh wow! Okay. Ever in my entire life. Congrats. Never ever has someone done this to me. First time for everything. I, I've been disrespected. You've dishonored Nihon. Yeah. Okay. I mean, uh, I think you've got off pretty lightly. Uh, a lemon lime buble is. It's really nice. Be better than a club soda. Is this yeah, sort of? Is this it. sort of? What? Are, what about the hair on it? That's yours. Oh. Oh. You get to keep or it. Or maybe Nellie's. Or maybe I mean, Kendall's. It probably was mine. Yeah. If we're being real. Okay, so those are all like sell or whatever, like good stuff. This is like good stuff. So it's okay. like rares and mythics, non-foil. Um, this is like, this was like a mishmash of like good-ish uh, commons and uncommons non-foils. Like these are foil uh, rares, foil uncommons, foil um, commons. Will that stuff all fit in here? Do you want Probably. dividers? Um, you can have some I can probably just like work. stack yeah. it up. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. Let's get all the like keep stuff put away, and then let's go through and just grab any chunk of these, and we're gonna oh, these yes. two boxes. We're gonna sort by type. So this oh, is like this is, this this is, is like the toolbox. Highlander Toolbox. Okay. Yeah. This is like the Highlander Toolbox as already exists. This is gonna be the spice. And then this is like the B team of the Highlander Toolbox. This is like this terrible organization system I've been working for the last like four years, where I'm like trying to only build cards. Or decks out of these cards, but then I have all of these cards that represent like either money cards I haven't sold or cards from my childhood or something that I like. And now, and but then I ended up going into this box just as often as this one. Okay, so while we go through this, we also want to downsize, or are we just literally resorting, don't purge any of these cards. Yeah, we don't have to. Well, no, we've already done like the purge work that we need to do. So, yeah, but that, that the understanding yeah. here is you want to keep every single one of these cards. Yeah, I think if we could get these two boxes to fit back in that box, but be sorted by type and then color. Okay. That okay. Makes sense. Okay. Sure. So we're gonna put. Yeah. You can keep the colored sections. Together and then just sort each colored section by. Type well, now is sarcomancy a creature or an enchantment? Oh, it's get an out! Enchantment, yeah. It turns out. Oh, yeah. But if you hit an artifact creature, put them with the artifacts. Okay. 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 Uh, there's a comment I want to talk about there. Somebody says the size of Nelly's collection makes me feel better. Surges was way too small, but I don't want to end up like Wheeler. Yeah, no, Wheeler. It's like it's like yeah. the um, Goldilocks. Gold, the I was going to yeah. say, yeah, yeah. Surges is too small. <laughs> Nelson's is just right, right? Thank like, you, thank you. I, I'm trying to have a just right size collection. Like I, um, I was getting ready to do this and thinking about my collection and I'm like, I don't have as much to purge as like, I'm sure some people, especially like me in the past, because I just have done this already a few times. But, um, you know, you can always, you can always get a little smaller, right chat? A little smaller. I, I remember this Beseech. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't want to sell that. <laughs> Art Alter. Some of these aren't even inner sleeved. No, they're not all sleeved. Some of these are just basic lands. Yep. We so, keep those. We need those. So hold on. Hold we on, play hold those. On. Yeah. So by creature and by color. So I, I now need to make separate piles, eh? Well, if you want, you can, if you're, you're in a pile that's like not by color, yeah, just put them by type first and then we can go back and sort through the types by color. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And an so artifact creature is a creature or an artifact? It's an artifact. Okay. Yeah, it's an artifact. But like I, what, what I love about magic is as the you know as the game sets have progressed and they've added new different things, any organizational strategy you come up with immediately falls apart. This is a pretty cool one. It's like we'll sort it by mm. color. Well, what about multicolor cards? What? Well, well, we'll sort it by type. Well, how about artifact creatures? Well, I well, we'll put those in artifact. What about enchantment creatures? We'll put. Oh, uh, damn it! We'll put. <laughs> <laughs> Where does Urza Saga go? Ah! Yeah. <laughs> to land. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah what about double face cards? Does it go? Which face does it count? The front as? face is the one you you file <laughs> away. I've got answers for all these questions, Paul. I'm ready. <laughs> but yes, it does suck having to figure out these. This is I. Uh... It's, I have great sympathy for the folks behind, you know, Scryfall and the various da card databases. Yeah. At every new set, it's they're like, why do you hate us? Why do you hate us? <laughs> okay, I'm, I am going to say enchantment creatures should be enchantments first. Okay. But if you miss it, don't worry. No, 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 okay. no, this is right. fine. Um, 
This is Highlander, so du duplicates is bad? Uh, There's a bunch have, of play sets. I have yeah. two Minotaur to forces. Oh, yeah, those are just chaff. Sweet. You have a That's... bunch of uncards in here. Yeah, that just snuck into that, <laughs> that, that this box. Is, this is all box. just chaff? I was going to yeah, say, okay. like, I'm kind of shocked you wanted to keep any of these cards. Sorry, yeah. Our, our, my clown robot deck can I, just go in the chaff. I, I asked, didn't know that I was asked there. ahead of time. I know, I know. I thought I, was, I had these boxes ready for and you. And I was like, there's okay. some not great cards no, in here, Nelly, but I've been, I've been specifically time. told that You're doing all great. these cards are to keep. You're crushing it. Including this carnival barker. All right. That's like it's odd to me, me that these are here, but you know what? Whatever makes you happy, Nelly. This, by the way, is an altar by my friend Leo, who like doesn't oh. still play Magic in Victoria, but did Ooh. some did some sweet altering yeah. while he's here. That's cool. Went on to be an architect uh, in the UK. <laughs> oh, yeah. Massacre worm. Uh oh. That's, uh... So Tiamat is an enchantment, not a creature. Right? Is it in? Oh, Tiamat. Oh, t t yeah. Timurat. Timurat. Yeah. yeah. I was Tiam gonna say like Tiamat is just a creature. I think <laughs> Tiamat is a whole Excuse different me. thing. Yeah. All right, I need somebody to tell me what card this is. I, I don't know. I don't know the art. I don't know what I'm looking uh, oh, at. Oh, that's Inquisition of Kozlek. It's a it, sorcery. Really? Yeah, that's Inquisition of Kozlek. From Strixhaven. Yeah, yeah the Strixhaven altars were actually very, 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 very pretty, but I have no idea what they are. What what, what part of that card is Kozilek? <laughs> uh, the big the big thing. I think it's supposed to be like a large Eldrazi yeah. looking over, right? It's got multiple arms. It's kind of it's kind of like an Eldrazi. The big oh. Kozilek looking part, Paul. Yeah, the part that looks like Kozilek. <laughs> I, don't I don't know, know why we're yelling is. at Paul now. That is Does an enchantment. Does Kozilek look like a big cabbage? I was not. I thought so. Yeah. So when you okay. went through, and you, and you did the purge of my purge, how bad was it? How bad did I do? Give me a, give me some feedback, Nelly. You were twenty five percent correct. What? What? When I purged your purge, I purged like seventy five percent of what you. Oh had wow. Kept. Bruh. Uh, your. Sleeve, you did great. Your sleeve on this card is not getting there. That's okay. It's like ninety percent sleeved yeah, on this very like a, interesting it, altar proxy yeah. thing. It's a, it's mostly inner sleeved. Okay. This one's an Don't worry about right? it. It's what? This is an instant. That's right? a sorcery. sorcery That's I infernal think. tutor. Right. That's a sorcery. sorcery. Yeah. For some reason, I thought because of the timing. Doom whisperer. Okay, once again, chat, I need your help. What am I looking at? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's a kill spell. Is uh, it an instant or sorcery kill spell? Uh, it's an instant. Yeah. Eliminate. Oh. That's eliminate. Yeah, oh, this is so great. Hello. <laughs> I see you. Peekaboo. That's one of those pictures you gotta like bring into Photoshop and like up the levels until it's just like some little dude that you can just see <laughs> in the darkness. And like. His forehead has like something that's like look at the bottom left, and the bottom left is like upper right. I think they just kind of phoned in that art. Like, was there supposed to be more to that? And they were just like, yeah, I got two eyes, I'm done. I don't know. Uh, yeah, there's prop, there's got to be stories about the art brief for Word of Command. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's in. Uh, maybe Rosewater talked about it on his podcast at some point. Yeah, or probably. I can't remember exactly if there was like a missed plan here, but yeah, it's just supposed to be scary eyes in the darkness. But I think maybe this is an that... enchantment, right? Yes. No, that's a sorcery. What? That's persecute. Oh, I right. Thought, I knew it was persecute. I thought Persecute's it was. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Check out this sorcery. altar chat. Check out this Ooh, demonic yeah, tutor another, altar. Another sweet uh, Leo one. Yeah. Isn't that neat? Yeah, shout outs to coach Jeremy White there for uh, hooking me those up when he moved most of his collection to buy a house. Perfectly Gonna ordinary show sentence. Show off a little, yeah. little, little bling bling. Mm. Oh yeah, shiny. That one I paid for, but no regrets. I really like that that invention. I always wanted to play this in a deck. Oh yeah, it's actually just not that bad. Like what card? Spoils of of. Blood or spoils of dread or something. Yeah. So one mana instant, and you make a creature that's as big as the number of creatures that died this turn, and it's like, it's fine. 
Like, the main problem with it is that, you know, it, it requires some playing around and, like, mm. your opponent might have a weird idea about what's going happening. But also just, like, okay and aristocrats. Yeah. Sort of plan B. Uh, uh, that's where, like, talking about swag. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's one, of the, one of the more expensive cards. Is that cards a beta DT? Yeah, it's a beta nope. DT, yeah. Oh, this is an interesting piece of history, too. I spoiled this card, or I previewed it. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Kind of accidentally, because I was, I'm just the one who opened it on our uh, our previous stream for uh, the PPR. I can never remember which of the Patriarch's uh, spells this is. Bidding. Patriarch's Another bidding. Yeah. yeah. That is... I didn't think I had so many foreign language cards. Isn't that you like... You have a lot. Oh, Okay, this is um, Dana Fisher's signature. Oh. Thank you, Dana. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that was a pretty good pack of that set I opened. It's an etched foil Urza. That's kind of great. On the other end of the, the beta spectrum, in terms oh, of condition. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh. That one fits in the sleeve I don't feel fine. so good. Yeah. Oh, these are like, what in the world are these, Nelly? Oh, that's a recent Secret Lair bot. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah. Um, so Phyrexian Metamorph is an artifact. Tezzeret's a planeswalker. Okay. That dark ritual, it's got a story to tell. Yeah. Is that damage from you, or is that when you acquired you acquired it already damaged? Oh yeah, I got it, it like in a collection, and this, it was um, already like that. Yeah, I no one has saved it. That one I think is a sorcery. Yeah, worst fears. Gosh darn it. It's okay. You're good. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah. Okay, now I did run into here's here's a card to sort by type right here. This is the card you were thinking of, Paul. Oh this no! Is the one that needs to so I think I'm gonna just make a new pile. So if it's if it's a if it's not a even not even a flip card, like if it's a transform card, we'll use the front side. But if it's a split card with two types, we'll mm. we'll make a pile. It's gonna be the only card in that in that that pile. I bet there's someone watching in the chat who knows how many of these there are. Split cards with two different types, specifically from Guilds of Ravnica. It's probably like there's three cards or something. I'm gonna fully do this and then forget how I do it to beat the cards up and just be mad at myself. That and you're gonna not, be hunting through stuff. They're not sorted by by color anymore. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. No, my next deck build's gonna be the most frustrating one of all time. Can't wait. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Lots of fun. Demonic hordes. It's interesting because like this breaks my brain. Oh really? But I'm also very very particular in how I do stuff as it is, and I right. I recognize this about myself. Well, so just because it breaks my brain doesn't mean it's bad. Well, I have found deck building to be somewhat frustrating and like managing my collection to be somewhat frustrating. Yes. And we were on the podcast together and I asked Wheeler how he sorts his cards. And he's like, oh, I have them all by type first. And I was just like, that broke my brain. So then I found myself thinking about it a lot. I'm like, yeah, I should try some new method for sorting my cards. And I would I would try another new method. Hmm. Like, you know, I'm down to just try stuff at this The point. biggest thing that helped me for deck building wasn't how I had my collection sorted. Yeah. But it was uh, switching to Moxfield. And okay. then finding out that they have a setting where you could save a particular printing to your collection. Oh. Have it auto-select oh. the heart every time. Yeah, I, love I really like it. to do that. And yeah. that has saved me, I kid you not, probably an hour. It has cut an hour off of every deck building I do. Uh, for those it was of you so who might irritating before. Yeah, why the art matters. for Specifically for Loading Ready Run streams, we need the art for the card reader because there's a limited amount of information that the system can handle, so it can't, ha and they've reprinted cards sometimes dozens of times with different art, and so we have to keep the permutations down just for, for your viewing yeah. pleasure, and it is a significant amount of work, and so, yeah, that, that change, whew. I managed to make a commander deck start to finish in 45 minutes the other day. That's awesome. Yeah. That's like, a, I don't have that record. Yeah. No, my deck building process is usually like, I tell myself it's going to be f like an hour and 10 minutes and then three hours later yeah. I'm yeah. like sleeving it up and <clears throat> writing the, the list out on Moxfield to send to Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, yeah, the, the, the card reader system uh, definitely works better with, uh, uh, you know, under, say, 500 cards, which if you're talking a couple of commander decks, that can... 
build up pretty fast, you know, especially when you, if you've got how many, how many iterations of Sol Ring or whatever. That's why none of the cards have popped tonight? Yes, exactly. Because we couldn't yeah, have every single card in Nelly's collection registered, and we also didn't want to have to make Paul manually look up each card art, so we cheated. We just have a camera, so you can look at it. Also, we knew there were going to be altars. There's a lot of altars. And as such, we yeah. wanted to be able to be like, ooh. You can see the signatures and everything. Yeah. All right, and just just grab a chunk, keep going. Yeah, so in here, they're sort of by color, so like maybe just grab the whole color as a chunk. I mean, I'm already mixing. Yeah, 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 mixing these piles, that's fine. I just, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's fine. You're right. It doesn't I even am going to separate out your basics, snow covered, and then just non basics. Oh. Sweet. Because I'm sure that's the way you want it. Oh, Najila? It's a card I need to get a copy of. You are correct. Najila? What's that one? The... Three mana, three to legendary human warrior. Whenever a warrior attacks, you may have its controller create a 1 1 white warrior creature token that's tapped and attacking. Mm. Wooberg. Untap all attacking creatures, they gain trample, lifelink, and haste until end of turn. Why? After this phase, there's an additional combat Stop phase. Stop it! I know, right? Yeah, it just why keeps is, why going. is he still reading? Yeah. Yeah, I paid money for that card. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Had, I went, went and looked for that one specifically. Oh, here's a little gem in my collection, actually. The 10th edition German Wrath of God Ooh. with the Kev Walker art and no flavor text. Zorn the Guts. Zorn the Guts. Yeah. Zorn them Guts. Or Guts or something, probably, right? Yeah. This would have sure been. I'm sure we're saying it wrong. Story this would have been a spicy little penny at the time. Man, remember when then um, Stromkirk Noble was just like the bane of Red Decks? You're like, you see this yeah. or Goblin God on turn one, you're like, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. I remember. Those were the days. I mean. Also, remember when Thalia was three mana? Wait, what? <laughs> yo, 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 yo! Did you see? They've retconned it that the Gitrog Frog no longer ate Thalia they, and their best friend. It was never <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Alan. I'll kill you. <laughs> Yikes! I don't, I don't know what card this is. Uh, it's an instant skull crack. This is a skull crack. That's what skull crack looks like. Yeah. That's what skull crack looks it's like. Hard for skull crack. Yeah. Because he's getting bonked. Oh. Here's another embarrassing corner of my collection. I don't know if I put this in the deck yet, but it's in a sleeve. What is it? It's Divine Intervention. This card is like pretty miserable. So it's eight mana for an enchantment. Put two counters on this. Remove a counter during your upkeep. When you remove the last counter, the game is over and considered a draw. Oh, good. <laughs> I mean, it does end commander games, so I appreciate that. This is an oh, instant. Yeah. This is you sacrifice a land to deal three damage to any target. I can't remember. Shattering, shatter, earth shatter. E Shard Volley. Shard Volley. And it's an instant? I want to say I got like Tobiro Saitu to sign it for me or something. <sighs> or maybe I didn't get the signature. Maybe I just traded for it after somebody else got the signature. Instant? Uh, yeah, it's an instant. It's an instant, sorry. Yes, you sacrifice the land. <laughs> <laughs> this also was just uh, given to me. Creature or mana source? <laughs> 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 this, this one also was just given to me. Same joke that Christopher Rush made. Uh, completely separately and I don't think related to the, yeah. Oh, oh that's a nice one. This is a Kendall Altar. Mm. For a while, before she realized it was way too much work for my what partner she was charging. Altar cards. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this is—I can't remember this who wrote this. Nelson. Somebody just gave me just this Wrath of God. Yeah, exactly. So, sort of hilarious. So hold up. This Holding is up. a unlimited yeah. wheel. Yeah, unlimited. That's spicy. Yep. That you can tell because, like, look at the look at the the text. That's I how had, you know it's not revised. I had that's judge very one, cool. But I sold that, so yeah, that's my my last one left. Got to keep that one. Wheel is like a shocking amount of money these days. The commander players found Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was this card that was like kind of exclusively good. Hey, everyone, in, it in draws Canadian seven. Islander, yeah, and then, yeah. Commander players got a hold of it. I was like, I was registering a deck the other day, and my and I was like, put Wheel of Fortune in. Like that's 180 bucks. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. No, it's been on the reserve list forever, and it was always like at least 10 bucks or something. Yeah. Like even when you started, it was like double digit dollars to get that card because it was sort of a well-loved card, but sure. now it's a very in-demand oh. card. Yeah. Is this still anything? I don't know. I feel like they reprinted this. This one and the, like, uh, Idyllic Tutor, I feel like I missed my chance. I'm gonna, I tried to sell them. I'm going to take people yeah. on a journey here. Good. We have a Pro Tour exclusive Lightning Bolt. Nice. 
nice. You're like, okay, I can see that being your That's toolbox. A yeah. Um, a Magic 25 Lightning Bolt. I don't oh, yeah. understand why you have two of them and that one's there as well. Sometimes I, put, I build 60 card decks. Can I put this in the chat box or you want to keep that? Yeah, we'll keep it. Okay, never good. mind. Uh, and then we just have this Beta Fireball on yeah, top of it, unsleeved. Just, just in case. <laughs> you never know. You know, the genesis of the Burn player. Oh, these are, I've got some Wheeler Altars uh, here. I don't Wait, know. You Wheeler really, did Altars? Yeah. You really want to make sure that your Fireball <laughs> is, is... Oh, caca! Wait, oh, we have to go to the little top hat. Shall we? <laughs> Does this armor make me look fat? Oh, the old squad hawks! <laughs> Wait, dude! Yeah. Yeah, yeah, these are really squad hawks that let me keep after that season. You really want to make sure that your uh, your fireball's out of beta, though. Do you, you care know. to comment on this one? <laughs> uh, I think it was a birthday present. That's I needed really, a fourth. That's really cute. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, John. Mm, oh. I have found the, we're all here to have a good time stack nice. with uh, Burning, Obliterate, and Wildfire. <laughs> yes, yeah, those, <laughs> those go in the same deck, it's true. It's like, how is, come nobody wants to play with me now? <laughs> is there a significance to the Bog Bogart Ram Gang? Oh, uh, just, it was a card I was playing in Standard and I think I needed like a fourth, like I had three for the longest time and YJ was sold out for forever, like all the kids had gotten them and I didn't have a fourth. There was a, this is like, there was a, a year later, yeah. Where, yeah, I didn't yeah. need it right after right after Shadowmore came out, but I did need it right after like Alara Reborn came out. I wanted a fourth Margaret Ram Gang and I couldn't find one. Is that like a tradition among magic, uh, like heavy magic no. players? This is the sorcery one. That is the sorcery. Sorry, one second, right? Paul. Is Seething Chat, Song an instant or a sorcery? This team? is Seething Song. Three mana make five red. But it's not it's not Pyretic Ritual, because that's English and that's right here. So yeah. all of the all of the rituals are instant, because that's just no, sort of what they do. Because right some of them no, are sorcery, are right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was gonna right use. Right of flame is a sorcery. Yeah. yeah. Seething Song is an instant. Okay, song. great. Yeah. There's no rhyme or reason to it. But the like, is that a tradition among uh uh, among Magic players, at least maybe at YJ, that like somebody's looking for, you know, a uh, medium, you know, uh, uh, just some sort of random card. Yeah, like a playable card and, in a deck, but not an expensive card. And yeah. you, you give it to them, but you deface it in some way. Yeah, you maybe sign it <laughs> so they remember who gave it to them well, or whatever. It's, Either it's that or you sell it to community, them. community, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, And you don't have to do it, but I've got a, like a Nelly signed one. Sure, yeah. Where like just a random card, sometimes it's on the sleeve, sometimes it's there. I don't know. It, yeah. More than money, you might want the memory yeah. of the interaction you had with the yeah, player. Yeah, yeah, I you, like that. When you were like, "Here, I'll help you finish." Where your do deck. we put the tribal cards, Nelly? <laughs> oh no! Just pretend tribal doesn't exist, no, please. No, it needs its own All pile. Right. It's a it, tribal instant. It is a tribal before it's instant. Make a pile for tribal, then it's fine. I said what I said, and I have Surge helping me. Ooh, I forgot I had one of these. Nice. The Elish Norn. Oh, oh the Elish nice. Norn. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's another Elish Norn in one of the card piles we're going through as okay, well. Okay, cool. Wait, the sorcery makes creatures. Is it still a sorcery? Uh, Nelly. Okay, this is shock, right? Yes, instant. That's an instant. This, I have no idea what this is. This is from um, the second Innistrad block. It's a sorcery, yeah. That's from Eldritch Moon. What it's called is Incendiary it? Flow. Incendiary Flow. And what does it do? Three damage to any target. Oh, it's another It's another incinerator or whatever? Never. Well, yeah, right. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think you'll find it's an incinerate. <laughs> mm, incinerate. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. Incinerate. incinerate. Oh, sorry. It was one of one of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. But not a not a quick one. A slow one. Okay. The good news is when we get to the land section in this box, we can just leave it. Oh. Ah. Ook ook. Ook ook. Streamer. Uh, monkey. Oh good man. Job. Goblin Shaman is a card I always wanted to make good. Well, I mean, didn't it used to be a uh, vintage or something? Yeah, it eats uh, Moxin. Yep. Right. Mox Monkey. Or yeah. like almost free. <laughs> Mox Monkey. Yep. The Monkey Hungers. Ooh, not Queen of the Fae. Hey, do you want this instead of Spell Pierce? What is it? I, I like kept one so that. What? Yeah, because it's like occasionally better than Spell Pierce. Is it? But yeah. 
Concerted Defense. One mana instant. Counter target non creature spell unless its controller pays one plus an additional one for each creature in your party. Yeah, na na. Na na na. Na 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 na. Nope, not playing That's it. That's okay, I'm just going to put it with the bulk then. Na 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 na. <laughs> There's a lot of Ral Zarek's. <gasps> you can tell a lot about a person by what printing of ball lightning they have. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, that's... What, yeah, I what think does this tell you about Nelson? He is uh, a man of exquisite taste. Now, <laughs> I used it. to have a yeah. um, one of those ones from the dark on your left. What is that? What would that say about me? Ooh, actually, sorry, yes, both. This is probably my preferred version. That's too. my preferred yeah, version. Yeah, I didn't realize there was. That's funny that I cut right to it because it grabbed a think, random stack. I think that one might have come out of your collection one Christmas. <laughs> Wait, I could just... believe it. Oh yeah. no, it's um. Yeah, no, it is the dark. Yeah. There are two types of players in Magic the Gathering. <laughs> Which I one feel, are you? <laughs> I feel like there's also two types of artists, ones who actually know what ball lightning is and ones who don't. Like, <laughs> right. yeah, isn't that just fireballs, the other one? Mm, well. Yeah, maybe. Archimeda. Maybe. Oh, Archimeda. I found this, but that's not what you're looking for. Spell Pierce. <laughs> Do that is do. that is a wizard who has had his spell pierced. Yeah. He is Don't not worry, I'm sure it happens to all. Very pierced. Oh, the Sharpie on this is like faded so much from like being sorted and played so many times. But this is a Daryl Paul altar that I just really like. My butt. <laughs> it does look like it looks like butt now. No, it's supposed to say WTF my boat. Because oh. <laughs> there's a because it, it's like Baron like scrying at the the weather light or something, right? I was pretty sure it said my butt, too. Yeah. It, it, it very clearly said my boat, like, you know, 10 years ago. Nelly. Yeah. Ooh, sorry. I'm going to talk about this beta stone raid please instead. Do, please okay, do. that's really cool. Nelly, I, I think it's okay. your keep I'm pile judging. could use a perch. I'm just going to say that rather gently. <sighs> yeah, there are yeah. some duplicates. There are some cards that I would say are maybe not 2023 playable. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Okay, well... But not now. <gasps> should we fin Yeah, should we finish the sword and then like, if we have time, we'll do more purging? Like, I'm going to say, like... Oh, yeah. That is not the original one that I had, but that is the same card in printing of the first magic card I ever saw. So then when, when like, one came through Yellowjack, I was like, I'm going to buy this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when I op opened up my first starter pack, this pile of muscles and swords was staring at me, and I was like, I think I'm in. <laughs> so, like, let's for sure go through this. Let's introduce this new sorting system for you, you know? One thing at a oh, time. Oh, we got there. Oh, baby. All you, buddy. Fantastic. There we go. Well, look, I just got rid of one card, Surge. Da -da -da. Can we stop now? I'm proud of you. And, and again, you know, maybe maybe we don't need to marry Kondo this, right? We, we, we had brought it up at the beginning, and then it's true. sometimes it starts to cause a little bit of unhappiness. No, this I'm, is... No, I'm kidding. You're absolutely right. The keep pile does need to be purged, so... What am I looking at here? This is not beta, because we looked at beta earlier. Yeah, it's beta. What's different about the other beta The one? texting. Oh, well. Wait, do you have multiple? No, wait. Do you have multiple beta fireballs? Maybe. They do. Look Signs like it. Signs point to yes. Okay, never mind. That's actually just two beta fireballs. Okay. It's really not that big a deal. <laughs> Those ones are like not. It's so like owning two razor scooters. Maybe you want to have one while the other one's in the shop. Because <laughs> they'll be there. Oh, man. See, like, this is a card that I have very fond of memories Oh, yeah. You used, used to make the cut in Red Deck Wins a while yeah, ago. And yeah, and I just don't I just don't. Think... I mean, it's still kind oh, of a no, good... Oh, no, help! <laughs> yeah, the, ah! that person's having a bad day. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Blood Lane is actually still kind of tech, because, like, always and forever, one of your worst matchups is uh, Death and Taxes, right? Or or Medium White. Like, those, those matches yeah. are terrible. Oh, yeah, these incredible... Uh, altars of omniscience that are all yeah. the same. Oh, wow. So, yeah, Kendall did these for Henry Lee, and then when that standard format rotated, I traded them off of him. 
I have like, I don't think ever played this card, but these look so good. That's You've never played Omniscience? I don't think I've ever played an Omniscience Are deck. you sure? I like, mean, I've probably put an Omniscience in play. You've done some big cheats before. Like, I think you've, you've done like... Yeah, I've played Show and Tell. Like, played, haven't you Omni-Tell before? Yeah. I don't know if I've played, I don't know if I've played Omniscience. Yeah. Uh... I... Are you okay? There's like an essay on that one. <laughs> I don't know if we show this one. That's uh, fine. Right. That's fair. Yep. <laughs> well, there'll be other good ones to show. Here's a neat one. This is land equilibrium. Oh, is that the one where you can only have like 10 lands in play and after that everybody has to sack or whatever? I don't remember. And okay. it's in Italian. <laughs> oh, good. I'll yeah. like, I'll just simply <laughs> read the card. Forehead, right? All right, chat, what's land equilibrium? Can you bring up the text of that in chat, please? I know it's a weird card. Hey, I've got the like, in case your sleeves are no good for Search for Escanta. All right, also here's, this is, this is, oh, never mind, Paul covered it. Yeah. If an opponent who controls at least as many lands as you do would put a land onto the battlefield, that player instead puts that land onto the battlefield, then sacrifices a land. That player instead puts that land onto the battlefield and then sacrifices so a land. So nobody can have more more than more you. lands yes. than you. Yes, 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 I remember now. Uh, can you put that down for a second, Paul? Because I want to show off another lightning bolt that I found. Mm. But this one's beta. Nice. That one's, that's spicy. That's the OG, yeah. Beta that's... fireball. Yeah, okay. So that used to be the only Fireball I was playing in Canadian Highlander until I looked up the price of Beta Fireball Look and I was like, I, I should stop shuffling this every week. <laughs> another one of these friends. Uh, all right, Nelson, I have another important question for you. Hit me. Uh, instant Arcane, where does that go? Arcane is a subtype surge. Oh, sorry. Now you're just falling. <laughs> Smart guy. Uh, is this Squandered Resources? Yes, that's Squandered Which Resources. Which is a... Enchantment. Enchantment. Enchantment, okay. Enchantment. yeah. Enchantment. Okay, so I think I've sorted what Ooh, I have. We got the Liz Danforth sig on this oh. version scroll in gold. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right, we've got this poor, incurable ogre. Oh God, why only Ooze Garden can save me? <laughs> what? Yeah. What does that even mean? Um, <laughs> I think this is probably just on top of something else at the shop that John needed to get my attention about. Mm. More bolts. More bolts. More bolt. You need one bolt for each land of elf. In right. the other... <laughs> yes. Artifact creature. Fabrica de Mistra. Oh, Richard Garfield. Hopefully it's like he's in the room. Hopefully we're playing the game as he, he would have intended. Sorting the cards as he intended, right? Oh, this is another card. Okay, I, I found this and I was like, I got to make this happen. See, I'm a person who thinks about making big cheats happen. This is Fold in the Ether, A four mana instant from Fifth Dawn that says, counter target spell, if you do, that spell's controller may put a creature card from their hand into play. So, like... Wait, that spells controller? Yeah, yeah. So if you just have like baubles or X creature or whatever, you just need to get your your big thing, your world spine worm or whatever it is, your flavor of the month, reanimator target, expensive creature, and then you just need to have this, and uh, you know, and a spell that you don't mind losing. To Neld from <laughs> Bone. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, I think that might be from Kyle, who I'm. Goblin Piker I lost track of, and because he moved away, and then I'm gonna he moved back. I'm gonna go hang out with him and his kids this weekend. Oh, Here, give me that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Show. Look. Was this you? Why do I have this Goblin Piker? I still Piker? have it. Look at me failing to ever throw anything away. Oh, also look at how pretty foil memories journey is. Yeah, there's Such some foils you foil. look at. Yeah, right. Such a good foil. Slash I, do, I do like that. Um, Vintage this... little little foil <laughs> slash pantser. <gasps> nice. Oh, yeah, we got some good cards in these boxes. Some of them, some of them are good. <laughs> Is that the sound that it makes when it comes <laughs> into play? Sure. Yeah. Only when you draw a card with it, right? Now, I put wastes with the basics, right? Sure. Okay. It's a basic land. Right? Yes, it is. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, technically, you'll find that is correct. <laughs> <laughs> um. 
Oh wow, Elephant Graveyard. Yeah, that card, I feel like, probably is more playable than we give it credit for, but I'm not certain do? that it goes in any of my decks. I can't remember if Gutshot's an instant or sorcery. It's a, it is an instant, right, because you used it to counter Delver if it would flip, right? Uh, you couldn't no, do it in response, but you'd yeah. like, it was it was Yeah, huge if you're worried about Delver it being, matchup, yeah, right? if you're you worried about like, it flipping, yeah, you would shoot it, yes. Before it flips, you can shoot it, that's right. Yeah. This is a Russian Pyroclasm, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Making sure. You have three copies of Pyroplasm. Probably more than that, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, is there a particular way you want uh, artifacts sorted, like artifacts and then artifact creatures? Yeah, like maybe like once we get into the, the pile that's all artifacts, we'll, you mean we'll this put one? a divider the, yeah, between the creatures <laughs> and the equipment. I just want to show off an altar okay. you got here. That's very pretty. Oh, yeah. Flame Slash. That's Nick Picard. Was that a Nick altar? Yeah. No, oh, Flame Javelin, not Flame Slash, yeah. pardon me. Yeah, I'm a big fan of... This one might also have been Nick. No, I don't think... Maybe. Volcanic Hammer is an instant? Sorcery. This one's a sorcery. <laughs> How do you even keep track? Cast a lot of burn spells, sir. Like, which two mana three damage one is this? Instant or sorcery? Pretty cool thought of Del Walter here with all these bubbles. Hold on. Pharmacist Judge says, you got shot in response to the upkeep brainstorm in response to the trigger. There you go. That's what it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's 100% that's correct. Oh yeah, curse scroll. Hmm. And a, another black vice. Well, you know, if one black if vice one won't kill them, get them yeah. maybe the second black <laughs> vice will be the. Wasn't the clutch there someone who said vice. that like sapphire medallion should be on power nine? I mean, I was like, what? Where's the lie, right? Oh, oh I no! I saw red cards. What's up? Warping whale. It's an instant. Yeah, put it with the instance. Okay. But it's colorless. Where will it go after? It'll, oh! go, it'll go with the other colorless It'll instance. go, not my problem. It's going to be fine. Fair. Tribal Sorcery Eldrazi. Goes in the sorcery. That's right. <laughs> it goes in the circle hole. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, God. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant reference. It's a pretty good comparison, actually. Uh, I have an instant creature here with your, your special journey cards. Oh yeah, don't worry about that. Yeah, just put it with the red creatures. Just put it with the red creatures? Yeah. Oh, what were they called again? The adventure cards? Adventure creatures, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Um, I don't know what Hellspark Elemental's doing here, but they are ready to throw hands. Somebody uh, drew a fist onto it. That's another Daryl Paul. Yeah, yeah, and then covered all the text. My roommate from the late 2000s. <laughs> Your other staff of Nin. How are we doing on time? Oh, it's just seven right now. Oh. Do you want to take another break? How are we feeling, team? Are we are we a second break or we are should, we up we should, through? We, could, we should do the hour we thing. Should do okay, sure. Every hour thing. All right. Nice catch, Mr. Nelly. All right, Thank here's you. what we're gonna do. We're gonna try and push and get this done, but before that, we're gonna take a very short three-minute break. We're gonna run some ads. We're going to maybe put fluids in us or release fluids from us, one of the two. Ideally, not both at the same time. Yeah, yeah, sure sufficient. I don't know, but I recommend you do the same. So stick around, more The Purge oh, after the this purge. break. Hello, and welcome back to Nelly's Collection, The Purge. And we've now entered the final stage, which is uh, the give, send it home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the call or whatever. Yeah. Um, so we've called and now we're organizing. Yes, yeah, so we just need to finish organizing all the cards that were previously sorted just by color. I had, I had my collection of stuff that I'm keeping in a couple different boxes with a couple different sections of just colored everything. And then I was building decks out of that. But now we're going to move instead to sorting by type first. So, yeah, Alex and Serge still have a few more cards they're sorting by type. And then once they're done, I'll start grabbing all of the creatures, probably. What's the Wooburg of types? I feel like creatures is first. I so think creature, surely. creature, instant sorcery, sure. enchantment. Maybe we should do all the permits Walker. together first. Yeah, why don't oh. we do, let's do. Speaking of which, what is this? That is a sorcery called Rampant Growth. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll go Creature, Enchantment, Artifact, Planeswalker, oh, and I, Sorcery Instant. I got, I'll tell you uh, what Moxfield does. Oh, great. Okay, sure. Sounds good. Moxfield does Planeswalker, 
creature sorcery instant artifact enchantment land. Here's what we're talking about with old oh, portal yeah, cards. There you go. Can't intercept. There you go, Paul. You were talking about the word intercept. <coughs> nice. So planeswalker okay. first, eh? I think this is also a sorcery. This is like a, a some type I forget of battles. Physical. I don't own any. Odd I, cast cane. No, I assume no one else know, does yeah, no either. Yeah. yeah. If you've got if a somebody, battle, you know something I don't. Yeah. Yes. If somebody owns a battle, they first, are. Then. Yeah. Well, we need to go through and sort those by color. Yeah, not just not just the stack. Dinger. So, what color do you want first, Nelly? Okay, so well, Sorry. I feel I feel I like also we also need you to tell me if this is an instant or a sorcery. I don't remember. Let's say it's a sorcery. Chat, what card is this? Feed the clan, but I don't remember if it's an instant or a sorcery. What is feed the clan? It gains life. Save me, chat. You're my only hope. Sorcery. Let's go with sorcery. Instant. It's instant. instant. All right. Awesome. You said that you didn't need to worry about lands, though, right? Yeah, lands can all just go in one big okay. pile. That's fine. And actually, if you yeah, if you want to hand them over, that's great. <laughs> Do you have lands? Lands. Uh, I have like two non-basic lands, which Sweet. are right there. I put also, the basics like, separately. Snow. Okay, great. Basics. Sweet. Yeah, let's get these. Oh baby, sorry. Biorhythm. Nice. Let's go. I'm that guy. Each player's life total becomes the number of creatures they control. Uh, once again, your, I need your help, chat. This is a card from Fre New Phyrexia. Sorcery. Um, lead the Stampede. Lead the Stampede. It's over. It's like overrun, but they all get infected or something no, like that? No, you look at the top five cards of your library, oh. and you can put any number of creatures from among them into your hand. Oh. That's sick. Yeah, unbanned Biorhythm, cowards. Let the green players win games for once. <laughs> You heard it here first. I don't know what this card is either. That's an enchantment called Arachnus Web. Okay. I should have known it was between greater good and food chain. Mm. It should have been a sign. <laughs> it's got to be the boots. Oh, the actual wall of boots. There it is. <clears throat> oh, wow. When you hear people saying wall of boots, it's because of that specific card. That great literal player. exact card. Yeah. It's a creature. And you consider Boon Sater to be an enchantment, not a creature, huh? Let's do enchantment first, yeah. Same okay. with artifact creatures. Let's go with artifact first. Oh, this is... Sorry, I grabbed this pile, but... That's fine. I'm still sorting here. Okay, cool. Well, actually, no, that's bad then. Yeah. Well, why don't we... I think what we'll do is we'll get... Finish getting all yeah, the cards sorted by type. Separate? Yeah, And okay. then we'll each take a type and sort it by color and, and then, then put it in the call. box. Yeah, but it'll be pretty quick to do what, that. What's the story here? I'm sorry, Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was given to me by... A uh, customer who, like, it's pretty fair to say was pretty annoying. His name is Tyler Roberts. You might remember him. And we, But we played a lot of games, um, you know, just at the counter at YJ when, like, no one else was there. Oh, I know and that so, feeling, yeah. Yeah, I think he was just kind of generically apologizing to me by giving me a card. Like, was that also a Wheeler <clears throat> altar? That might have... Uh, Sundial of the Cat? That? Who made Sundial of the Cat for me? I can't remember. Sorry, Sundial of the Cat. But there's a backside, I remember. What? <laughs> there's the tail. Yeah, it's got a little tail. Snap, snap, snap. Destroy any one land, Winter's Grasp. Only one, though. <clears throat> and any. Any Sorry. one land you may choose. Here's one. You can also find in Serge's collection. Oh, the elk! Or it's before, an antelope or whatever, right? Before Jaddy Offshoot. This is what we had to play. No, 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 not before. In addition to, In addition to, to oh, please. I'm sorry, that one's still in the deck, Have too. Have some respect, okay? I think this is uh, Justin, I want to say. Yeah, any YJ regulars in the chat are just like, Man, if we wrote Sharpie on a card, Nelson just kept it, huh? <laughs> like, yeah, I think you're all great artists. Was this a Kendall you... altar as well? Yes, that was a Kendall altar. Yeah. There you go. There's an English lead stampede. Oh, it's that one. It's an Elvis card. Okay. I have artifact days. Okay, great. Let me give you some more artifacts. 
And then if you want to, or here we go, I have more too. Here's more artifacts. All right, Alex, you're the artifact. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so these are artifacts by color. Wait, are yeah. those? So here's a question for you. Are you, if a color pip shows up in an artifact, is that an artifact or a colored spell? We're not doing color identity. I just like, I like mana values. Okay. Yeah. Put, let's put those like I'm kitchen finks in our EDH decks. Like, I'm not trying to get you, is no, what I'm yeah, trying to I say know, here. He's trying, trying to get, get you. you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> the fool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's a card that I have great respect for still that uh, doesn't see a ton of play. But Sakura Tribe Scout. I, feel like I don't even know that card. Uh, so there's another one that's the same thing, too, that's an elf, but it's just a 1-1 one, one for 1 green that lets you tap and put a land from your hand into play. It's okay. pretty cool. Yeah, it's I like... Probably just worse than that uh, arboreal oh, or whatever they have now. All right, so I'm now taking these and separating them by color. And sorry, Paul, this might make things. Where do I put the reconfigure cards? Okay, are so they, that are they equipments or creatures. Well, I guess it's an artifact, so it's just artifact. Yeah, why don't you just put it with the equipments? Sure. Okay. Uh, like which that makes which sense. one shows up first, equipment or creature? On, equipment. From left to right. Yeah, That's let's put it with equipment. An equipment ogre. Let's put it with equipment. Okay. Sure. The most important thing in Chit Chaff is not to stress too much about the weird types of creature cards. <laughs> um, multi. Do you colored. Just, do you just want right. a multi stack, like a multicolored stack for creatures and stuff? How do you? Where do you yeah, want? Yeah, let's them? just put the multicolored creatures at the back. Yeah, yeah for sure. <clears throat> this is not in Wooburg order. I just need you to know this. Do you want to change it to be in Wooburg order? No. You may, if you like. No, I don't care. Okay, one more artifact. I, w I wonder how like I'm. I'm sure like Card Kingdom has. They probably just go by like collector number or something. Like it's by pro it's probably by set, by set and collector number. Yeah, or it is because like I've seen large distribution places and that's normally a really common way. Yeah, by set and then by collector number and they're just there. And right. You just you and just collector punch. number automatically sorts you by uh, color and uh, name. That'd so. be my assumption. Um, like these giant. Eldrazi are not artifacts. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, get got. All right, maybe it's been secretly the colorless pile the whole time. Ah! Oh wait, but we can't. We can't sort. We have to sort by type. You're right. No, no. So, they, they, there's like a handful of Eldrazi no, in, that's fair. in the creature pile. Right. Okay. Right. They should be in the creature pile though. They shouldn't yes. be in the artifact pile. Okay, that was my bad. I'm just gonna. Quick... That's on me, dog. Okay. So every card that I have sorted. Yeah. Is now by color and by type. Awesome. Planeswalker, enchantment, creature, instant sorcery. That's what you wanted, right? That order? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Hand me those. Start putting these away. Okay, sorry. Let's... These are green creatures. Okay. Okay. And these are unsorted enchantments. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. This is a pile of blue cards that we didn't sort into type yet. Just leave it for me. Just leave it for me. Just put it to the side. Okay. I got you. All right. I got, right. I got you, dog. All right, all right, all right. Bless you. That was, oh. a, that was almost scatting. <laughs> the future of Surge Sneezes is just going to be like eliciting melodies and like doing, <laughs> doing <laughs> uh, yeah. Wait, have I gone weird. from scatting into speaking in tongues now? Yeah, you're going to be speaking in tongues. Is there a tongues. difference? <laughs> you're going to be like doing duck calls. It's going to wow. be great. Yeah. Do you want all multicolored together, or do you break multicolor down? Because I separate my multicolored by Ravnica Guild, but no. maybe you don't. I maybe do. not me. Yeah, well, I, you know what the truth is? I do when I'm just monumentally bored, but we have a bunch of other jobs <laughs> here. I have, done, I have done that. I have Sorry, I'm okay. done the sort into guilds before, yeah. But then what about the three color multicolor? Oh, you have gate you have to put those oh, after baby. those. There's an order, yeah. All right. Do you do it first by guild, then by shard? Then... Well, what you should, re yeah, yeah. First okay. by guild, then by shard, then four color. Oh, that's so, a multicolor creature. Yeah. Right. So these are all multicolor, multicolor no. what? No. It's, this is unsorted. Those are creatures, yeah. Those are creatures that haven't been sorted. Okay, yeah. good. Oh, and there's a stack of blue cards that needs to be sorted. I'm on it. I'm on it, Nelly. Okay, great. <clears throat> Poor stack just sitting here being like, we're already blue cards. What more do you want? Uh, artifact for you, Alex. Up my Are you cheering for us, chat, as we approach the home stretch? They're doing it. It's happening. It's all happening. This um, this uh, organized collection, any percent instant speed record you're about to see. 
This is 4C, and that's an instant, is that correct? Sorcery, sorcery. It's a sorcery? 4C is a sorcery. Oh. You get to scry four. I don't know. I think it's fine. Sure, you can draw two cards at instant speed a lot of different oh. ways as well. With all, Our oh. old friend. Mm. Oh, Wait. yeah, that card never sees play. <laughs> Artifact. With all the cards that you have, uh, you know, with with uh, pen and, and different <clears throat> markings on them, you need to do the, like, high fidelity uh, sorting autobiographically. Oh, God! <laughs> I have to remember which tournament I got this at. If I yeah. want to build a deck, first I have to recall which player it was that bested me out of the finals. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The key to making a good deck is... <laughs> uh, so where do the interrupts go? They're instants, They're instants. my friend. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I know, I know. Smart guy! I wish the answer was more complicated, too. Do you? <laughs> For Surge's sake. Mm. I'm just trying to get him, okay? Ooh, this is another Kendall altar. I don't think we showed this off. Oh, he yeah. behaves so much better when he has an activity. I do. I really do. Green yeah, I, I... This is the pot calling so the kettle black more here. Green <laughs> Look. Look, I don't do nothing well, Alex, all right? I don't think any of us do nothing well. Those are, oh, geez, that's a lot of instants. Well, yeah, the blue instance pile was always going to be kind of big. I was actually wondering what was going to be more for you. If it was going to be red burn spells or blue dirtle spells. Yeah. We're fair. actually getting a beautiful visual indication of Nelson's I, collection I right now. I figured out only like five years ago or something that I just don't play white in Highlander. Really? And like my collection's been mostly well, Highlander bent for like oh, 15 years. We don't, we, don't have a good, we don't have a good cross section of it, but there's black, very small, very neglected. White creatures is well. Just Alex has the black cards. So uh, like, yeah. Oh, I was I was gonna be surprised because you're not actually... that I don't own black cards. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, also, sorry. A lot of the black cards are in decks. <laughs> like we didn't come to sort all of my mm. black cards because I didn't bring those cards. Okay, here's part uh, one. It's now. true. Yeah. Yeah. Anything the, that was already in a deck isn't. The big stacks well. are either ones well, that are very popular or, or <clears throat> you're so popular that you're using them. Yeah. Artifacts. Okay. There's a small section on top of Wooberg. Colors. Okay. The rest is colorless. Great. Same thing, only creatures. Same thing, only equipment. Same thing, only vehicles. Oh, right, vehicles. Forgot about you, vehicles. Vehicles! Oh, Alex! Yeah, they just keep uh, raining them down on us. Sick. I saw insect, and for a second I thought it meant instant. Mm. And I was really confused. So, multi planeswalkers, and then there's some. Black and a colorless one. All right, creatures. Okay. Yeah, I mean that stack. Sure. Yeah, it's just black creatures and plus more. that devoid creature that costs black mana. Oh, so you already did the whole stack. This is safe. Yeah, that one's sorted. I think it just go here. Black creature. Yeah. Um, we're doing it. We're getting close here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Alphabetical by what is depicted just have on to the put, art is very funny. Maybe I should just push the push the, this discovery and dispersal with the. Multicolored sorceries because I'm putting it in the deck to cast discovery. And it's either that or like put it in its own like weird little world. Of, like I don't have any other cards that do just quite what this card does. Uh, black enchantments. Great, thank you. All right. White so, enchantments. What about colorless planeswalker? Does it go in? Uh, yeah, sure. It's just Multi in with the planeswalkers. Multi enchantments. <laughs> Get yeah. shorter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm gonna steal this random inner sleeve so I can sleeve up my new foil Esperzoa. Yeah. Could I have a stack of something you have over there, um, well, Alex? What are we? Or? What are you starting with? What's the first thing that's going in your box? Sure, the creatures. But like, there's still creatures in that pile, so uh, we can't put anything away well, in the box I'll yet. I'll do right? that one next. Okay. Well, like Surgeon Iron. Well, no, I was gonna say you could start, and then once you get past more, you could find it after, like. With the beauty of the organizational system. Sure, sure. Yeah. yeah like, you right. want green creatures? Wait, what, what's no, the first I guess color? I want white creatures first. You, sure. you are going Wooburg. He's respecting Wooburg. I'll do the Wooburg inside. White the creature. Sure. Okay, white creature. White creature, here is an inserter. Okay. Now, what comes after white and Wooburg, chat? This is a test. We're watching. Ugly. Here. No. Here's it's, the ooh. It's the same under the. Oh, you need, you need B? Here's an inserter. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. We're waiting. Eh, eh. Orange. Good answer. Good answer. I believe these are all black creatures. There you go. See? Oh, wait. We're not ready for... Oh, we are ready for black, black creatures. You we literally just asked for them. <laughs> we really did. Look. 
All right. What comes after black and Wooburg? Our... Oh, hell. All right, here's red creature. Sweet. It doesn't fit in one row. You have too okay. many creatures. Having creatures is, you know, All right. it's a good thing and a bad thing. And what's the G in Wooburg? All right, there's green creature. Here's gold creature. Do you have a gold creature stack? I have like a million of them, but I'm just like extracting any. That, that's fine. Yeah. Lingering creatures. May I take Siege all gang commander. What? That one doesn't belong there. So, it's so like a lingering souls, but they're oh, ones that says yeah. Weird. This one, this one needs to be sorted still. All right, hold on. Actually, this is so fine. Just, so far, the consensus is that the G stands for gravy. Oh nice. God! I could go for some gravy so right now. That would be uh, your uh, your old old brown artifacts. I All right. Guess. So there's gold creatures. Awesome. Here's some more gold creatures. Gold creature, green creature, white creature, green creature, gold okay, creature. Okay, there's a solitary red creature. Sweet. Here's gold creatures. Here's colorless creatures that are not artifacts. All right. So we got green, white, black, colorless. Dance, Excellent. dance, dance of the man's dance. Uh, and you are done with creatures there that are not artifact creatures? Yes. Because artifact comes later? Uh, and I believe I'm done with sorceries. Well, the ones that I have. Um, black sorceries. Wow. OK. Multi sorceries. Colorless sorceries. Okay, What's enchantments white? me. Oh, yeah. I've, I've got instants. Sweet. White instant. Yeah. Black instant. Green instant. Multi instant. Colorless instant. All right, so you want, uh, yes. Yeah. And here's the black for enchantments. Sweet. Here's the red for enchantments. Here's the green for enchantments. Here's the multi for enchantments. You want Planeswalker next? Artifact. You want Artifact before Planeswalker. What do you think? Do you think we should do Planeswalker before our... What's the Wooburg of types? What's the Wooburg of types, Switch Chat? What's the Wooburg of types? Nah, it's okay. It's okay. Let's, we can do we'll Planeswalkers. Do planes sure. Okay. You're just putting just them all... i just going to pick them up. Yeah, they're, they're You're a not going to bother separating them enough? Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I have enough dividers to do all of the That's separations, fine. but I will yeah. just put all the Planeswalkers here together. Here's two more, three more dividers. Sweet. Perfect. All right. White. Okay. Uh, instant what comes or sorcery first? Next? Instant or sorcery? What comes first, chat? Instant or sorcery? Let's do the instants. They're close. Creature, planeswalker, sorcery, instant. But we always say instant and sorcery, don't we? Therefore, we know the answer. Yeah, chat says instant first. All right. They're faster. Instants are faster. They're faster. They got there first. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. yeah, yeah, yeah. So split second cards are before that, right? And yeah, they would yes. be too. And that would put morph before those. Yeah, yeah. Did you say morphs? Yep. Oh, I like that I morphs. looked over for a second and I'm just like, oh, that's just a time walk. Just chilling. <laughs> Wait, it's not in a deck just, right now. Oops, it fell. <laughs> Wait, does the sorting cards use the stack? What? Oh, no. What's happening no. here? The sword stack. Okay. Uh, yes, sorceries. So here's sorceries. I already can't tell whether I like this more or not. Well, <laughs> you have to make your first yes, deck. Yes, I'll have to make a deck for the... Next time I'm on FFTF. You know what the other thing you need? You either need Probably. like straight easy columns to know which row is row. Mm -hmm. That's how it would work in my brain. Yeah, I think maybe sword. we need another box, like or having big, a column or a big both. label, right? Yeah, yeah. I think you need to be like, this is the sorcery stack. Yeah, having to go like down the column to figure out which type you're in is probably yeah. wrong. They will fit though. This is just how trim my collection is, so we should, we should all be proud of that, you know. Uh, this is the colorless sorcery. Great. All right. Now, what Alex has here is all of the artifacts, and I have no idea how they're subdivided in here. Their colors are on top. Regular artifacts, yeah, I think that's fine. I don't think we need a hundred dividers for the just artifact stuff. That's trash. Here's a real question for you: If yeah. you're currently sorting your collection, can you cast plant and glacial worm? <laughs> Always. It's a very good question. It's a good question yeah. for me specifically. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't yeah. It? Oh, you missed that. one artifact. Yeah, I didn't. I wouldn't say I really missed it. Okay, that one's being cut. Good. Yeah. Good. Look, I did a purge. <laughs> we. Okay. Are done. Well, that's Ta -da. Oh, nice. Well, hold on. We'll show that off here. Yeah, oh, where, where does that one go? All the types. Uh, it goes in my for trade binder. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. 
What have you got oh. over there? Oh, there's still things you want to keep? Sweet. Oh, this is the Alex this, stack. This is some okay. stuff Love that it. like took my interest. It's awesome. mainly pretty low end. I'm gonna I'm gonna but filter it past. Let's find out. Let's find out what Have Alex wanted. This is the Alex fee. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> my some, secrets. We got some pirates here. Nice. Oh yeah. You don't have a serpent yet? That's an important one to oh. get. Ooh, original print rewind. Nice. That's my the favorite. frustrated memory lapse. Love that one. Yeah. yeah. Demir infiltrator. No. I don't remember if I have one of those, and I don't remember if I have a Gitu encampment. They're all really good ones. Darkest Bargain is a good card to have. Mm -hmm. Ooh, baby, Just Raven's crime. Raven's crime. Dig up, stupid. Dig up, stupid. <laughs> I think it might be a thing in the um, uh, Witherbloom mm. deck. Mm. Nice. Mm. I mean, it's like it's Diabolic Tutor, but also maybe just finds a land when you don't. Yeah. Need it to do it's that. Lay of the Land Plus. They Lay of the Land Plus is like an interesting piece of design space they're working with right now because there's Lay of the Land or Proliferate. Mm. That one's Lay of the Land or Diabolic Tutor, right? So they're they're trying to make. You know, magic has this flaw where you have to have lands to cast your spells, and they're just constantly oh, trying to. Oh, oh. They're Chains constantly trying to have mechanics that fix it, so oh. that you don't get flooded. Play more or lands. Manage to keep your judge foils. Yeah, All right, sure. Nelson. On a scale of one to ten, mm -hmm. how chit chaffed are you feeling right now? Are you, are you feeling chit chaffed a bit? Yeah. No. No. We only chaffed our way up, like you know, a seven or an eight. I would say I'm not completely exhausted. I'm not burnt out. Oh I, do God, think, we I do think. I do think we're we were productive. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Resleeving is a lot of work. Well, then, well, I want this the sleeve this goes in. Oh, sorry. Then my that, friend, that was half the point is that it's in this sleeve. Oh, this what? sleeve is the other half of the token. In case you need a cat from space, that's pretty good. You just show off the we sleeve. Yeah. I, I use the sleeve as often as I use the front. The front face is just the card back for this game, the spoils, which mm. most of you probably haven't heard of, but it has a beautiful card back. Mm. Yeah. Tattoos and space a Johnny. That's what this sleeve is about. Let's take it home then. Okay. I think this was excellent. I think this was a fantastic bonus LRMTG. I hope you had a fantastic time watching. I want to remind you that this wonderful content of us going through our magic collections is brought to you by you. You support the Patreon over at patreon.com slash run. I want to give a huge shout out to our magic sponsor as well, Card Kingdom. Cardkingdom.com slash LRR is an affiliate code. Let's us know, lets them know that we sent you. And we have a brand new button so you can ask for a little one inch button when you send in an order and the new button says the power level of my deck is yes. yes. <laughs> I do still need a shadow spear. I should probably post my uh, updated wants list because um, I posted on Twitter. It's like, hey, I'll draw you stuff for trades. Nice. And a bunch of people went for it and yeah. everybody was happy. Smart. So I'll do that again. Heck yeah. Thank you very, very, very much for watching. If you're watching on the YouTube, I don't know, Dingle the Dongle. Do Bingle. we do that in 2023? Bangle of bangle, if you will. Scrangle and grangle. Let us know which of the Nelly alters you saw was your favorite in the YouTube comments Aww. for a little bit of that interaction. Gargle the yargle. Thank I'd you. I'd love to read those comments. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.